Hello. Hello, everybody. How's it going? Sorry I'm super late. I <laughs> uh, had a really busy day at work, but we're all good now. Got the kitchen all set up. And, uh, yeah, I've been craving Pokemon, so... Kind of want to just play a little bit of that before we get into the cooking. So here we go. Pause the music here. Let's see if my audio actually works here. I didn't hear anything from my switch there. Wait a minute. Is it my game capture? Is it muted? No, it's not muted. Wait, let's see if the sound comes in. Wow, no sound. Okay, wait. Let me Alt F4 and just reopen this. No. This would be a huge shame if my audio screwed up. Let's see. Oh, there we go. We're good. Alright, so pretty much since the last time I played... I played a little bit off stream, just enough to transfer some Pokemon from Pokemon Home. So basically, I don't know, this is probably a little bit kind of sort of cheating. I used Mystery Gift. I got a Mew. There was a code. I think it just... What's the date today? The first? I think yesterday was the last day to get it, or today's the last day. So I got that. And then there was also a Mystery Gift for a Charizard. And I tried to use him, and he didn't obey me. But pretty much from my other... Pretty much from my Sword and Shield game... I, cr I laid eggs for Mimikyu, got a Magikarp, uh, Bagon, Charmander, Shinx, and Riolu. I don't know. A lot of people like playing Pokemon to, to fill up the Pokedex or to, you know, catch them all. But I just like playing with my favorite team, so this is what we got. I'm just trying to decide if I level up Mew or if I use Mimikyu instead. I mean, Mimikyu, it's kind of nice to have a ghost and a fairy type. So, especially in the early game, there's a lot of normal types, so I kind of... It's kind of nice to have a guy that can't get hit by normal type moves. But then at the same time... Mew is Mew, so I mean... He doesn't have any psychic moves. I'd probably be a little too OP this early on. I don't know what time or what level he... He, he remembers stuff at. Can I... Oh, pound? What does Mew have better... Special attack? Beg you better regular attack. I mean... Let me see. Swift hits for 60. I mean, I assume Swift is more powerful than... Swift's probably more powerful than Pound. Yeah, Pound only hits for 40. I don't know. I'll probably go with Mew for now because I really like Mew. Uh. All right. So then, first thing I gotta do... Should I try to catch them all? Can I throw a Pokeball at this thing? Oh, that's not how that works. Oh, you just beat it up. Wait, I meant to try and catch those. Oh, okay, um... Oh, that's kind of cool. So you just throw them out into the wild, and then they just battle stuff, and they level up. So I can just do this. Oops. So did I fail? I'm still a little confused by how this works. So what do these do? I think this one's a heal? Oh, I don't like that kind of move. Uh, rock and normal? I mean, probably a rock move. Is me super OP? Not really. He can use it back at me. Oh, it doesn't do crap. Okay, I'm probably gonna kill him like this. Okay, so there's- I don't know how to sneak up and throw a Pokeball. Hmm. Is, is there a way to- Let me see, is it- No, it's not that. So that's to send him out. Okay, what about- this? Okay, no, that's why I put him back in. Is it Y? No, Y's map. I don't know, I'm not gonna bother with that. Okay, so where do I have to go next? I have to go to... 
Looks like... Oh, I have to go kind of far to go to the city. Okay, so I can... Can I select this as a destination? Yeah, okay. So now we got a marker on the map. I'm just gonna heal my Pokemon real quick. Wait, what are the other options? I don't think I've even... Okay, let me see. All kinds of handy functions register to your directional buttons. Oh, I can use emotes, camera, cha I can change my outfit. Okay, I didn't know that, actually. Let me see. I guess I don't have any other outfits. Oh, wait. Oh, I, I do have other outfits. Wait a minute. Let me see. It's kind of laggy. Winter's a little snazzy. Not bad. I don't really like the yellow vest. I think the summer one's probably the best. Yeah, we're gonna go with summer. Oh, what are my different socks? Now I'll keep the high socks. And then white shoes. I wonder if I run faster if this is all just cosmetic. School gloves. Oh, I kind of like those kind of matches. And what? what's my school backpack? We got a brown one. And... White one? Or is there no backpack? No, there's no... <laughs> okay, I guess I have to use it. Can I take off my hat? Oh, there's... I can remove it. Yeah, let's remove the hat. Yeah, I don't really want to wear a hat. There's glasses, too. Not bad. Oh, and you can have phone cases, just like real life. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna take the hat off. There we go. Um, what was up on the deep? Oh, you can emote. I don't know what the purpose of this is, because, I mean, isn't this a single-player game? I guess just for fun. Okay, let me see. We're right on the D-pad. Camera? Oh, so you can... I guess it's kind of like how you take in-game screenshots. Oh, that's kind of cool. And you can flip it to a selfie camera. Can I get a picture with her? Is it taking it? Um, how do I, how do I take a picture? Um, oh wait, on the left side. Point camera, reset camera. Um, <laughs> I didn't know how to take a picture. What the heck? Okay, so B is to crouch, so if I want to sneak up on, or, and slide. Sweet. Okay. Yeah, you know what's interesting? Some things about this game are really impressive. Like some, like I like the graphics on this, on, you know, the character. But other parts of this are a little disappointing where it looks really low res. Is there life in this? This is Los Platos. We're always happy to serve up a helping of hospitality to anyone passing by. All right. Can I buy stuff here? Would you like some delicious, refreshing ice cream? So what does this do? Oh! So you actually need... Are these like rare candies, maybe? I don't know. I'm gonna have to look that up. Um... I guess I'll just head for the... Just head for the marker. So I'm gonna go to school, I guess. I mean, I've just been craving this game all week. I purposely kind of waited a while because I heard a lot of complaints about this game and I didn't want to just run in and play it right away just because I was hoping there's some hopium that uh, maybe they'd fix some of the problems. But then there was also, um, I was just waiting for Pokemon Home Support so I could send myself all my, like, baby forms of all my favorite Pokemon. So far I think it's paying off. So now we're just going to head to the school. Oh, and I also wanted the benefit. What's up, Ben? How's it going? I think I also wanted the benefit of my Pokemon leveling faster. So, everyone except Quaxley and Mew are traded from my Pokemon Sword version. So they're all gonna get boosted experience. They're all gonna level a bit faster. All right, is this a trainer right here? It is. Let me show you this awesome looking Pokemon I just caught. All right, let's see what we got here. I'm naked, I'm naked, I'm naked. Wait a minute, how, how many months is this? 
Benjamin, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime. That's 25 months, dude. That's over two years now. That's crazy. I think you have the longest streak on my channel. Appreciate that, man. Thank you. Yes. Appreciate the Twitch Prime. You've been doing this for two plus years now? Yeah, you've basically subbed every month that I've gone live. I actually started live streaming in like 2019? Let me see. I can check. Let me see. Let me go to Opera Browser here. Oh, it's not showing. Wait a minute. Okay. So, um, if I go to Xandrex XP VODs. Let me see, what is the earliest stream I have? Uh, yeah, 2019, that's when I started. My very first stream, but I mean, I didn't start streaming on Twitch until 2020, probably. So I think I streamed on YouTube first, and that was on, uh, October of 2019, that's crazy. I can't remember when I started on Twitch. I Man, I streamed a lot. I streamed 63 times in 2020. Oh, I can just read the, the, the playlist. I streamed even more in uh, 2021. I streamed, I think it's because that was the year I streamed Final Fantasy XIV. I streamed like four days a week that year, I think, for almost the whole year. And then 2022, I barely streamed at all. Dang, I only streamed like 14 times. I've already streamed more this year than I have all of last year. That's nuts. Yeah, stream is fun. I just like, I just burnt myself out a little too much, I think, with the Final Fantasy thing. Just did a little too much. Alright, I don't even know what type this guy is. So I'm just gonna use Power Gem. And I think I win no matter what. I'm already like three levels over. Was that even super effective? Or... I'll take it though. Oh, that's it? I think my guys are gonna get over leveled at this rate. Burnout, sounds like you need a shield. <laughs> How's it going, Patrick? Wait, so, this weekend, this is the weekend of your first con, isn't it? Anime Impulse? It's happening? Are you hyped? A Fire Force shield? That's your cosplay, isn't it? <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah, post pictures after the, after you're there. I want to see how it goes. All right. It's five feet tall? Dude, that's crazy. <laughs> Can I register my birthday? Now, do be careful you enter it right. You can't change a birthday ever after it's registered. Okay, birth month, November. And... Oh, jeez. You're nervous AF? My arms will be dead? Hey, don't worry, man. Don't worry. Don't worry. It'll be all good. Yeah, your arms probably will be dead. You'll probably be in a lot of pain. But it's honestly gonna be worth it. It's gonna be fun. Okay, let's heal these guys up. These games are a lot more forgiving than the OG games. Yeah, cosplaying is, uh, it's no joke, especially at conventions. I feel like it's easier to cosplay, like, if you want to get pictures of your, your cosplay, it's a lot easier to... Oh, wait, what's this? Press the L, you can lock onto a nearby Pokemon and you keep your sets. Oh, that's all it is. I feel like it's easy, it's easier to cosplay when you're just doing a photo shoot outside of a convention. Is that a convention you walk around a lot? There's a lot of meeting up with people. It's not super convenient, but I mean, you know, it's still fun. Thanks, man. My biggest fan, Ben, will be there. It's awesome. Ben's going to Anime Impulse? That's sick. I didn't know that. You guys are going to an anime con and I won't be there. I'm bummed out. I wish I could go. But I need a weekend to do nothing. <laughs> I was just out of town last weekend, so I need this. Am I at my school now? Oi, Andrew! Oh, there we go. Did you battle some trainers on the hill? Bet your Pokemon are getting stronger. How about you show me how much you all have learned in a battle? 
Yeah, let's, you can say no. I cannot consent to this. All right, nothing like having a friend around. Come on, Andrew, let's, let's have us a fruitful battle. Yeah, this game is a lot more hand-holding than uh, the original ones, but I'll take it. Yeah, but I have an unfair advantage, because I have Pokemon that I transferred from, <laughs> from Pokemon Home. I didn't make sure they had good stats or anything, so they probably have horrible stats. But it's okay. Okay. You seem like you're getting better at this, so I'm coming at you with two Pokemon this time. Meanwhile, I got a full team. Okay, let me see. All same level as me. Okay, power gem. I could probably kill this guy. Wait a minute. Oh, he's a fire type, because rock's good against fire, that's right. You really work on your type matchups? Yeah. Okay, that's not gonna do shit. Cool. Easy peasy. She's not gonna use an item, is she? No, we're good. Man, that Ben guy sounds like a tool. <laughs> I heard he's got a sweaty putty. About to send out Palmy? I don't even know who that is. I'll switch to someone else, though. I mean, this guy needs... Bagon levels so much slower. He's only seven. Everyone else is nine. So yeah, I'll use him. <laughs> Benju Molly. Man, I'm actually so bummed out. Is this Pokemon DLC? Nope. This is the base game for Pokemon Violet. Yeah, I never, I never started it until the other day. I just been sitting on it, waiting for Pokemon Home support. Is this guy a Fire type? In I mean, I think this does, yeah, Bite does more damage than Ember, so let's use Bite. Battling you is a blast. Think about her. Pull out my ace in the hole. What's her ace in the hole? Oh, is this the... This is probably the, uh... Wait, what the heck? Wait, how come... How come I can't do that? Terra Dazzling is always a solid strategy. It gives moves of the Pokemon Terra type. Oh. Oh, thank goodness I'm I'm a dragon, so it's probably gonna be not very effective. Oh, that still did a crap ton of damage. Even when a move isn't so effective, look how hard it hits. Wow. Um. Might need to switch him out. Wait, how much damage did that do? That did 11 damage. I could probably take one more hit if it's a non-crit. Okay, if he crits me, though, then I'm dead. Okay. So I gotta switch out. Um, let me see. I don't have a ground type or anything. Who do I even use? Okay, obviously not... Okay, obviously not a water type. I mean, I guess I'll switch to Mew for now. Let's see if he can take the hits a little better. What's up? How's it going, Jeff? Good to see you, man. Just chilling, finally playing the newest Pokemon game. But then I think there is DLC for this game, I just don't have it. Is this gonna one shot me? Oh, that barely did anything to me. Nice, Muse OP. <laughs> Does this barely even do anything? Oh, what the? Wow. A critical hit? Wow, nice one. I have a hard time landing those even when I try. <laughs> Man, my Mew is really strong. I actually thought she was going to KO my, my Bagon. I need to put him out front. He's my weakest guy. Quaxley wants... Oh, Quaxley can learn Wing Attack? That's sick. Oh, I guess he's technically a bird. So I'll get rid of Growl. I'm still waiting for the optimization patch on the DLC. Oh, is there... I did not watch the Pokemon uh, Presents, so... I mean, what do they announce? Is there a TLDR you can give me? Is there a stabilization patch they're coming out with? The game's pretty... It's pretty embarrassing, uh, some of the performance on this game, to be honest. Man, I can't believe how fast you're improving. Alright. Amazing. Look at you taking on a terrestrialized opponent and winning no problem. Yeah, I, that was actually kind of tough. Come to think of it, you can't terrestrialize. Is that how you say it? Terrestrialize your Pokemon yet, huh? Don't worry, I'll get you taken care of. You know what? I kind of miss the old school rivals of Pokemon, where they, like, you guys hated each other's guts. 
I feel like, a, like the last several Pokemon games, your rival has more or less just been more of a frenemy. You're so good with Pokemon battles, I forget how new you are to this stuff sometimes. Anyway, it was fun to battle you. Here, have some revives as thanks. Sweet. I'm sure most people probably get KO'd during this. Unless they overlevel, I guess. I mean, that's kind of crazy. It's kind of like the new Dynamax. Now Mesagoza is waiting just past this gate. At last, the city where our school is. All right. There's a ton of hills and stairs and stuff in this city, so I'm gonna take a quick breather and then catch up with you soon. Okay. There we go. I heard performance for this game is really good on the emulator. I was I was contemplating trying this on an emulator, but then I wouldn't have access to Pokemon Home, so I thought, whatever, I'll just play the real thing. Oh, wow, that's... Yeah, these graphics are not good. <laughs> I think it's passable, because, I mean, I don't play Pokemon games for the graphics, but... And they're pro this is probably a rush job, I'm assuming. But we'll see. I want to give the game a fair chance. I feel like it's still going to be pretty fun. So I know that you can go in whatever order you want to get your badges, but I don't know what the optimal order is, so I'm just going to YOLO it. I haven't looked up any guides or anything. All right, here I am. We finally made it, huh? This is Mesagoza, the biggest city in Paldia. So this is the main city. Sweet. It's been a big trade hub since a long time ago. Lots of folks come here to learn about advances in technology and all kinds of other stuff. There's a hair salon where you can change your look, plus places with tasty foods and fixings. Nice. I feel like Pokemon X, is the, X and Y were the first ones to do stuff like this. What do you want to see first? Hair salon. Oh, you're a fashionista, are you? Or maybe you just want a practical do that won't get in your eyes when you're battling. Oh, and speaking of battling, I want to be sure you'll be able to ter terrestalize your Pokemon too. There's a few things that gotta get done for that to happen, but I'll take care of them, all right? Meanwhile, you just have fun looking around the city a bit. There's so much to do. Grab a bite, buy some accessories, spice up your uniform. If you want my personal recommendation, you've got to see Delibird Presents. They sell handy items for- oh, they have the hold items there, okay. I wonder if I can get leftovers. Once you've seen your fill, we can meet up again in front of the school. Hey, it's the Yand, I mean, nice li So is she a Yandere? How's it going, Yusei, by the way? Good to see you, man. She does have those crazy eyes, so I mean... I can kind of see it coming. Not much. The Evil Queen? Well, well, well. How's it going? Look who it is. Long time no talk, long time no see. Good to see you, my friend. The evil queen. <laughs> have you been? Have you been? Just be ready. The stairs up to school are no joke. Later then, get pumped for some terrestalizing. <laughs> Gasm. I've been alive, so great. Yeah. <laughs> That's always a plus, not being dead. Happy to hear that. I'm not always able to catch Mark's streams, so I mean, I haven't seen you in a while. How am I? I've been doing well. Super busy day at work, but you know, who? <laughs> like who? <laughs> uh, that reminds me, I don't know who this Mark is. You even spelled the name right, that's the funniest part. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, where to set this as destination? I'm actually doing super great. Managed to snag a Mew. Yes, dude, thank you so much for telling me about the Mew. I have a Mew. And uh, Mew's kind of OP to have in the early game. Not gonna lie. Okay, so I was using... I was fighting against her Terrastalized Pokemon. And... I mean, Thundershock is not very effective against Bagon, because he's a dragon. But then Mew withstood it... Oh, he probably has better special defense, huh? Where are the stats? Special defense 25. Oh, that's why. 25 special defense versus 9. Topsy log. Hello. 
Hello, friend of my friends. How's it going? Are you Filipino? Are you? Are you? I see Topsy Log. Making me crave a Filipino breakfast. <laughs> I hope he's here. I hope he saw that. <laughs> Let me see. Is he in here? Sometimes he lurks. I don't think he's here. I don't know. Unless he left. <laughs> Topsy Log is actually my wife's favorite Filipino breakfast food. If you guys aren't familiar with that, tapa is like a is a, a thin sliced garlic soy sauce, sweet and savory kind of beef dish. You're supposed to use a kind of thin, cheap piece of steak, but I always use ribeye for it because I'm kind of spoiled. Um, and then sea log, uh, top sea log, you like combine tapa with eat log, and then you kind of get tapa and eggs. So one of the best breakfasts. Any log, bro? Oh, that's true. That's true. I like corned beef, personally. I think that's my number one to eat with eggs. Oh, that's Bagon's weak uh, nature weakness at special events. Oh, that explains why he still got crushed, even though he, <laughs> even though it was not very effective. Eggs are so good. Topzilog, thank you so much for the follow. Appreciate that. Did you come through through Ben or Patrick? I see friend of friend. Sorry, I drank my tea and I thought there was a piece of paper in it or something for a second. I was like, what did I just... But it was just the tea. It just... <laughs> Best man, screw Patrick. <laughs> have we met in person? Were you in Vegas? I don't know. Or <laughs> Where have I... We pro I feel like we probably met in person. I don't think so. Aw, that's a shame. One of these days. Don't you get it? If you join Team Star, you can shine as brightly as anyone. Oh, is this the new Team Rocket? Seriously, what's with you? Don't you want to burn bright with awesome friends like us? Not really. Look, we've got a quota we're supposed to fill for new members, so just sign up already. Oh, it's like a cult. Um, I'd rather not. Oh, it's a she. Hey, <laughs> are you gonna walk away? Wait, guys, do I intervene? What if I just say not my problem and then just walk away? Let me see what happens if I try to walk away. Let's see if it forces me. Oh, no way, you can walk away? Oh, no, you can still intervene. Okay. And then you get... Probably wants to give you a chance to heal. Okay, I, I thought it would force me to... Oh, it... oh I gotta redo the cutscene. Alright, I'll help her out. Huh? You want you want in on this too? You're here to sign up? We'll get you next. We've nearly got this one in the bag. We're Team Star, kid. We were in so bright it hurts to look at us. But you knew that, right? Man, Pokemon has changed a lot. I mean, back in my day, there was Team Rocket, and they would capture Pokemon and like whip them and abuse them. <laughs> but now it's uh, weird, colorful. Uh, I don't know, morally ambiguous people. It seems like it's more annoying people than actual evil bad guys. Uh, but you knew that, right? No, I had no idea who you were. <laughs> Another ignorant little nobody. Here I'm finally part of Team Star, and still I get no respect? I gotta work my way up the ranks. Hey, we can't just let something like this take slot. Wait, I haven't healed. <gasps> the honor of our team's on the line, so we've got no choice but to battle yet. Oh, shit. That's true. You gotta watch- you gotta keep watch on the little four eyes over there. I'll make sure this fresh face- fresh face nobody ends up seeing stars. Wait, are we gonna battle? Team Skull were the first team that didn't feel like a crime organization. Yeah, I wonder why they stopped having crime organizations. Kinda missed that. Alright, here we go. Is it a double battle, or am I just going against her? Crap. I really should've healed up before this. I don't even know what type this guy is. I, he's probably poison, I assume. I mean, the best I have is a rock move, so I'll use this. <laughs> Mew is so strong. I caught Mewtwo in the raid day. Oh, you can catch Mewtwo? Wait, so when do you unlock raids? I kind of want to do those. I like raids in Sword Shield. Uh, 
Yeah, dude, you're saving me. This game is so easy now with Mew. Okay, I need to actually heal up. Amnesia. Um, I guess I don't remember what Amnesia does. Temporarily empties its mind. Oh, I'm... I mean, is that better than light screen? I mean, probably not. I'll just... I think Sword Shield raids were more fun than raids in Scarlet Violet. Oh, okay. What's the difference? How come I'm the one seeing stars? Alright, so I beat her up, and I assume, uh... Oh, do I have to battle this guy, too? Or why is a nobody like you so good at battling anyway? It's just not right. No way, he beat you? Does this mean I gotta battle this kid now since now since I'm higher up in Team Star's ranks? Oh, Spanish? Because we're in Spain, I think, right? Pero bueno, what do you think you're doing? Wait, so pero bueno, pero is that butt, and bueno is like good? Is that like what's good? Or what does that expression mean? <laughs> what do you think you're doing? The raids in this game can be unnecessarily hard. Ah, oh, that's annoying. Ugh, it's that student council dweeb. She's gonna report us if we don't book it. Do these people go to our school? What the heck? I can't believe you, Andrew. You don't have to go find randos to battle. You'll have all the battles you'll ever need with me. Oh, dude, you're right. She is a little crazy. She is a yandere, huh? Oh, shoot. She's a little crazy. Uh, that's not really what happened. Wait, they picked a fight with you? Wow, I read that way wrong. Sorry. Hi, Yandere Chan. I mean, a uh, nice lady who battles me. <laughs> I get it now. You two have got Team Star written all over you for sure. I mean, they literally have stars on their helmets. <laughs> I bet you were trying to pressure people into signing up again, weren't you? Uh, hi. Uh, we weren't doing that. Well, that explains it. As head of the student council, stopping this type of nonsense would normally be my job. This is also the perfect chance for you to try my amazing and ultra-rare gift to you. Alright, what do we got? Terra Orb? So I'm gonna use this on Mew, and then I can become super OP. An orb that holds within it the power to crystallize. When it's charged with energy, it can be used to cause Pokemon to terrestalize. Alright. So can I use it on anybody? With this Terra Orb, you can terrestalize your Pokemon during battle. Let's see. After it terrestalizes, I'm pretty sure your Mew will be a rock type. Normally, you've got to take special classes to be able to get one of these Terra Orbs, but I put in a good word for you, sweet. Now, time to give it a whirl. You'll learn to use it faster in battle than if I just explained it to you. Okay, let's do it. Wait, what? You want this kid to practice wailing on us with his Terra Pokemon? Is that it? Got a problem? You want to battle me instead? Hey, my Mew from the Mystery Gift is Rock as well? Nice. Wait, so they, they can be different types? Hmm, never mind. I'll take my chances with a new kid. Then take your places in battle. All right, here we go. Here we go. Yeah, I miss the criminal guys. Maybe I should play some once they get the older Pokemon games on the virtual console when they play those. Oh, we got Wild Donald Trump. Okay. How do I terrorize? If I look at my Pokemon, can I find? Let me see. Paratype. Oh, so... That's so weird. All of them are just, you know, the same type except for my Mew. He's a psychic type, but his terror type's rock. That's strange. If I switch to Riolu, and then I Terra... Terra Stalize, I get more fighting moves? Let's see. I assume this guy should probably only have normal moves. Oh, and Dark. No. That won't do anything to me. Okay. So how do I terrestrialize? Oh, here we go. R? Did my moves change? They didn't change at all. Um, okay, Metal Claw does 50. Quick Attack does 40. Each terror type is random for this me. Oh, okay, I see. In raids, you can catch Pokemon with different terror types. Let's go. Oh, shit! I didn't mean to use Faint. Aw, oh, what a waste of a turn. I meant to hit, uh... Metal Claw. Does Faint even do anything? Oh, that looks kind of cool. I mean, I think... I mean, we'll see. Dynamax seems a little cooler than this, but, um... Let's see how this goes. 
Oh man, what a waste. Oh, so faint, at least faint does some damage. Okay. So let's hit him with a real, real attack here. Metal Claw should kill this guy, right? No? Okay, next turn should definitely kill him. And I'm faster than him, so he's dead. This guy's definitely dead next turn. Wow. I mean, it only has 95% accuracy. That's kind of annoying. Terrasalizing gives you another way to use your stab, use stab move. Oh, that makes sense. I'm just gonna quick attack because I want to make sure it hits him. There we go. I hate moves that don't have 100% accuracy. Nice. Yeah, I need to put Bagon out front. Your Pokemon burns so bright. That makes sense for Mew because he has a he has a rock move, so I mean that's kinda nice. Nice, Andrew, you pulled off terrestrializing no problem. So I guess that is kinda interesting then. I assume you can only use it once per battle though. Most of your Pokemon's Terra type will hit even harder when it's terrestrialized, you know? I thought you'd get different moves, but it's not like that at all. Sometimes you'll find a Pokemon whose Terra type is totally different from its usual type. That difference can open up your strategic options. That makes sense. Oh, so you gotta charge your Terra Orb at a Pokemon Center after every use by healing your team, though. Okay. Well, uh, I'll be on my merry way then, yeah? Hasta la vista. Oh, hasta la vista. Sorry. So yeah, Team Star is basically a group of students that like to kick up trouble. They hardly ever show up to class, and when they get together in groups, they're a real headache. Yeah, these are the troublemakers of the game. They don't even seem that bad. I guess they didn't want to promote um, real bad guys in the game anymore. They, they don't even really seem like that much of troublemakers. They just seem like the obnoxious kids in school. Okay. Um, excuse me. I, uh, I just, well, thanks. So, yeah. See you around. We got the Shy Kid. Oh, look at you, Andrew. Already becoming a big hero around campus. I don't think I've seen that girl around. Maybe she's a new transfer like you. That Eevee bag, though. Love that fluff. Anyway, seems like trouble's died down, so we'd better book it up to school. Get ready to climb the worst staircase in the world. Alright. This game's actually pretty fun so far. I have my criticisms, you know. I think the older games are still better, but this is pretty fun. I feel like most- oh wow, look at that frame rate on this guy. It's all choppy. Yeah. Oh, we got some audio glitches. Um, I don't know if this is my computer. Let me just Alt F4 out of this real quick and then reopen it. Um, it's a fun game overall, but they should have waited a year or two before releasing it. Yeah, I agree. So does the Pokemon company just force them to release a game every two years? Is that the problem? All right. Um, wait, no. That's, oh yeah, I want to put Bagon out in front. He's got to level up with the weakest. Oh, my real is the strongest. Okay. I assume I go into here. In we go. I was hoping by now they would have patched the game already and made it more stable. It's still a little choppy. All right. We made it to the Hogwarts. Here we are, Andrew. Welcome to Uva Academy. This here's the entrance hall. You can sign up for all kinds of classes at the desk behind me, and those halls off to the sides lead to all different parts of the school. It's totally big enough to let loose and battle in here, but for some reason they ban Pokemon battling in the main entrance. I don't want anything to break. Master Andrew, Miss Nimona. How did you find your first school commute? It was tough, on a bitch. Oh dear, was it really? I suppose Miss Nimona must have led you on quite the adventure. Not that I was expecting any less from our champion-ranked student council president. Reliable as ever, Miss Nimona. Time to go to school! Yep. Well, I know how to look after my friends, right, Andrew? Can I say no? <laughs> no. 
Oh, but speaking of which, we saw some of those Team Star kids in town, Director. You did? What? Look at the... Okay, those bird Pokemon in the back. Look at how terrible... They're so choppy. I can't believe they let that pass. That's crazy. Definitely a rush job. It was down the stairs from the front gates. They were hassling this kid with an Eevee backpack. That is quite the news. Are they still... Are they still to be found out there? Actually, Andrew flexed on him and they ran off. And ran him off. They don't say. Of course, it's a fine thing to try to help a fellow student master, Andrew. To be honest, Nimona's kind of your sugar mama in the game. I'm not complaining. I'll take it. But you might want to show a bit of restraint as you find your feet here at our academy. And Miss Nimona, do remember that the school staff is here to resolve any such troubles. Uh, right. Yes, sir, Director. A child with an Eevee backpack, you say? I suppose that might have been Miss Penny. I'm relieved to hear she's come to class, at least. Uh, Miss Nimona, if you'd be so good to report to Mr. Jack... Jock? Jack? About this Team Star business, as your, as your homeroom teacher, he should be kept appraised of all such goings-on. This guy talks so fancy. Sugar Nesant? Yeah, true. That's the first thing I thought when I saw her. I was like, she's the Onechan, I guess. Ha, but look at the time. You two had better hurry along. Class will be starting soon. Is this the first Pokemon main game where you go to school? I mean, usually you just, uh, you're like 10 years old and you get sent off on an adventure. Go travel the world. Good luck. Hopefully you don't die. Class 1A. What I don't get is how she looks so much older than me, but I'm in the same class as her. Maybe it's not based on age or something. Okay, how do I... Oh, it's probably just the loading screen. <laughs> wow. That's like 5 FPS. Good morning, Mr. Jack. Hello, hello, everyone. We have some exciting news this morning. Who wants to hear it? Who, me? I want to hear the news. I suppose I should have told you sooner, but we have a new little friend joining our happy homeroom as of today. I wonder what they'll be like. All right, you can come on in. Here we go. It's just like a lot of anime. <laughs> the main character is the transfer student. Could I trouble you for a few words introducing yourself? Okay, so I can be all energetic or I can be like kind of emo. Here, we'll, we'll not be too excited. So calm and collected, he's pretty cool. Kakui. Looks like everyone's eager to get to know you. All right then, who wants to be the first to ask our new friend a question? Oh god, he wants to ask a question? What's your favorite thing about Pokemon? Um, battling, of course. Really awesome, I'm totally the same. Does anyone else have a, cl a question? Me, I have a question. You went through all the trouble of enrolling here, so spill, Andrew. What do you hope to get out of it? You must have some kind of dream, right? <laughs> Just say, I don't know. <laughs> I don't actually know. Fair, I get it. The possibilities are endless, right? Who can decide? Well, thank you for telling us a bit about yourself, Andrew. I'm Mr. Jack, I teach biology here at the Academy, and I'm also your homeroom teacher. That's your seat, second row in the front. All right, cool. All right, you ragamuffins. Be nice and friendly to our new classmate. We will, Mr. Jack. Oh, so I can just explore. That's it, huh? Biology? Do I have to- I actually have to take classes? Um, let me see. Where do I open the map? Oh, so these are the Pokemon centers, I assume. After going on the Pokemon journey, I never once attend- Oh, so you don't have to attend the classes. Wait, I can fly? Oh, never mind. <laughs> okay, so maybe if I'm outside. So you zoom out with ZL and ZR. Oh, that's cool. Oh, the map's kind of big. All right. Um, let me see. Well, I'm gonna go explore class. You can now move around the school. Try checking out places on the map where you see that someone might be hanging around. Perhaps you'll discover something. Uh, okay. Choose a location and start exploring. All right. Um, uh, cafeteria. Why not?
be sure to visit those Pokemon centers in town to turn them into a flying target. Oh, that's good to know. Thank you for that. We eat Pokemon in this world, right? Okay, um, do I talk to this adult? I assume. Oh, it's this guy! Oh, hey, so we meet again. Arvin, best boy. You remember me, right? <laughs> I'm gonna who him. Who? I don't think we've met. What? Come on, I gave you <laughs> Mirai Dawn's Pokeball. Did I forget to introduce myself? Well, the name's Arvin. Who? No need to tell me your name, Andrew, right? Whole school seems to be talking about you. The new kid who showed up with a president of the student council. I normally wouldn't even bother showing up for class, but I came all the way to school today just to talk with you, our new celebrity. You've got to help me out so I can finally make my dream a reality. Uh, what's this dream first? Hehe, <laughs> caught your interest, have I? You want to hear about my dream, right? Guess I don't have a choice. Well, this might come as a surprise, but fact is I'm all about the picnic life. Not what I expected. <laughs> the great outdoors, the perfectly prepared sandwiches, all of it. Not half bad at cooking either, I can tell you. Right now I'm researching new recipes that'll help Pokemon feel better. Real health food, see? I found this book the other day and it had a section about these Herba Mystica things. Basically, there's some kind of special herbs that heal up any Pokemon as soon as it eats them. Now, there are a total of five different types of Herba Mystica based on what I read. Just taking a little lick of them once they've, they've powdered will get your blood flowing, provide nutrients, prevent aging, it'll even boost the immune system. Sounds like a hippie. Only found here in Paldia, and rare to boot. Okay then. But this book says they're all guarded by Titan Pokemon, meaning that it's going to be pretty tough to try and grab even a few sprigs. You see, Titans are, well, I think they've got to be things like this. That looks like a Dawn fan. As we descend further into Area Zero, we begin to catch glimpses of mysterious Pokemon, though we wondered if these compact, cruel beasts were indeed Pokemon at all. One of our team suffered a brutal blow from such a beast and was mortally wounded, forcing us to retreat for a time. Is this also a Dawn fan? A member of the survey team captured this photograph by chance. I noticed a passing resemblance to the Pokemon known as Donphan, yep. Yet differences such as its texture and the way it moves suggest it's biologically separate, to say nothing of its treads of iron. It's like a tank. Cool. That's interesting. I really want to get those herbs for myself, but I'm not very good at Pokemon battles. We just need to get good, sir. Don't have any friends with strong Pokemon to lend me a hand either. But I'd never hear the end of it if I went crawling to that student council girl. But here you waltz up. You've got to help me out with this. You'd be perfect. Can I say no? I'll say yes, whatever. Nope, wait. I don't need an answer yet. I'll just register the places where it seems there might be titans in your map for you. Oh, cool. So no matter what, I could. S he probably would have said the same thing even if I said no. The titans layers have been added to your map app. Oh, that's cool. So this is where I go. These are kind of the areas I'm going to have to go out and explore, it looks like. It's pretty cool. Let it stew a bit, and we can get more into the details later. And in the meantime, take this. A little gift for listening and all. Stag of Stardust? Uh, is that a hold item, maybe? I guess we'll see. Give the idea some serious thought, please! Okay, then now I have to go to the staff office. I'm assuming this is what's going to help me go on my adventure and stuff. Okay, so how do I... Oh, is that my phone? Let's see. This is Andrew, correct? I hacked your smartphone so I could talk to you. Hope you don't mind. What the heck? What do you mean, hacked? Well, as far as you're concerned, it means I'm basically in control of your phone right now. My name's Cassiopeia. <laughs> Cassiopeia? But never mind that. It's you I want to talk about. I hear you're a trainer with serious potential. If that description is accurate. There's something I'd like to ask of you. Tell me, Andrew. You know about Team Star, right? Yeah. You should have downloaded a VPN, and that's why this episode is sponsored by ExpressVPN. Go to expressvpn.com and use code it's AndrewXP at checkout to get 5% off your first year. No, I'm kidding. Sponsor me, please. 
Great, I appreciate you being up front here. Team Star is a group of troublemakers formed by some academy students a while back. They cause headaches for the school and try to bring other students down to their level. And I refuse to sit idly by and let them get away with it. So I've come up with a plan to bring down Team Star and force them to disband for good. I call it Operation Starfall. Thank god, actually I want to take them out because they're annoying. <laughs> but I'll need allies to carry out this operation, and I'd like you to be one of them. Uh, yeah, I don't even know you, but I don't like them. I, I think they're kind of annoying. Oh, but no matter if you say yes or no, they say, No need to reply the second. We can discuss the details some other time. No, then I'll leave it to you. Bye. So how do I... I, I actually, I do want to take them out. I, I They're very annoying. <laughs> ah, Master Andrew. Please do try to keep your voice down if you're making calls within the school, won't you? I'll be more careful. You don't want anyone else overhearing any personal information, after all. It'll help if you do gym battles at the same time. Yeah, so what's the recommended route I take? Because I don't want to just... I don't want to struggle at the first gym and then absolutely crush the next one. I kind of want to go in a proper order, if that's possible. Honestly, there are so many things we need to be careful about in this day and age. On you go, then, young man. Uh, Team Star, you say? I wonder what's up with Team Star. I'm sure there's a plot twist here waiting. I forgot which gym I did first. I think it was the Bug Lady. Oh, I got two. I got a Charmander and my Bagon knows Ember, so I can burn that place to the ground. In game. Whoops. So then, uh. Okay, so I'm gonna go to. Go to this Pokemon Center? How do I get there? Oh, is it outside the school? Actually, I need to go to the staff office, I think. Starly. Okay. Is this, uh, to the train? Oh! Oh, so the, the school's pretty big. This is, uh, transportation system in the... Oh, it's very, very linear game. Not much of an open world game. It's alright, though. It's okay. Alright, so who am I talking to in here? I assume... Person with the crazy hair? Maybe? Very well, Champion Nimona. I trust you to handle this in my stead. Sure thing, you can count on me. In fact, I bet this is gonna be fun. I'm glad to hear it. Good day, then. Okay, maybe not. I guess I talked to Nimona. Oh, pardon me. Oh, Andrew, hey. Who was that? piqued your interest, huh? That lady is... Well, they call her La Primera. Uh, the first? Is that what that means? Primero is first, I think, so... She's strong. She can do pretty much anything. She's got cool, practically coming out of her ears. She's basically everything I want to be, or that any Pokemon trainer would want to be, really. Oh, which reminds me. Remember in Homeroom when I asked what your dream is? If you're still trying to decide what it is you're looking for, I've got an idea for you. You should try to reach champion rank like me. Yeah, I will. Oh, wow. Hang on, though. I've got a whole spiel I want to give you. Here goes. The trainers who reach champion rank are the ones who raise their Pokemon really strong. They're pro-tier battlers. Their moves keep crowds absolutely on the edge of their seat. You have to prove yourself to the Pokemon League to officially get the title of champion. So there's multiple things you can do in this game. You don't have to just get the badges. And to do that, you have to do more than just take classes here. You've got to take on eight Pokemon Gyms and win so you can collect their Gym Badges. Once you've done all that, all that's left is a special test, the Champion Assessment, so Victory Road, I assume. And once you pass that, then at long last, you'll be a Champion. It's every Pokemon Trainer's dream. The coolest title anyone could ever hope to get. Not to brag or anything. So she's already gotten all eight badges, that's insane. I reached Champion rank during our last Treasure Hunt, you know. Oh, the Treasure Hunt is a special independent study thing we've got here. Should happen soon. Our last one started not long after the beginning of the school year. It's great. You get to leave school to go have an adventure and learn however you want. I guess you could say my journey to becoming a champion was the treasure I found, maybe? I don't know yet if that's the answer I'm looking for. Huh. Anyway, I've got a feeling I'd be able to get even stronger if you and I were both working at it. 
I wonder if I battle her at the end. I'm probably going to battle her throughout the game, is what I assume. Let me go and save Jim's locations in your map app in case you decide to go for it. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I want to go in the proper order here. Um, let me do a quick Google search. Um, where's my browser? Um, Pokemon Violet Gym Order. Okay, so we're, yeah, Bug Gym first. The proper level order in gyms. Okay, Bug, Ru oh wow, that's a lot of gyms. Cool. Alright, well I'll do that. So we'll go to the Bug Gym. Kind of excited to take it. I don't know what level they are, though. I mean, I'll just try it. Oh, of course, Victory Road as expected. People like me would be upset if they didn't have Victory Road. Give it some thought. Okay. That list includes Titan Battles, too. Oh, that's cool. I didn't even catch that. Okay, so um, I do the Bug Gym, then this. Oh, I see. Then the Stony Cliff Titan, then the Grass Gym. Okay, so it's Gym, Gym, Titan, Gym, Titan. You kind of alternate. Go to the Director's Office. All right. Once again, Master Andrew to the Director's Office, please. All right. Are we in trouble? Okay, let me go back out here. Where do I want to go? Director's office. Thank you for coming, Master Andrew. Have you been enjoying your time here at Uva Academy? Uva? Uva? No? What if I say no? <laughs> I get... I see. Do remember, I am always here to lend an ear should you find yourself struggling in any way. Now, you may be wondering why we could not have simply conversed earlier in the cafeteria. But let me assure you, there is a reason why I ask you to meet me here in my office. It seems that a friend of mine has a rather serious matter they would like to discuss with you. Let's see. Is it the person that hacked my phone, probably? Is he the one? Oh, no, I'm afraid they aren't actually here in the room with us. One moment, please. Just allow me to connect us. Okay, so who was it that hacked my freaking phone? Wow. A very handsome man. Look at that jawline. Hello, Andrew. It's nice to meet you. My name is Professor Turo. I carry out Pokemon research with the great crater of Paldia. Is that famous streamer RPR? I don't know who that is. <laughs> At a site known as Area Zero. Sorry, I, did, I failed to get the reference. I failed you, Anakin. The professor is, in fact, a graduate of our fine academy, as well as a splendid researcher. Well, allow me to get straight to the point. Andrew, student ID number 805C393. You are the student who travels with the unusual Pokemon Miraidon, is that correct? Yes. I could lie and say no. Thank you. I appreciate that you were honest in confirming the facts. Not that I... I do not mean to offend you. In fact, I wish to ask for your assistance. With what? Oh, there's the Pokemon. Oh! How oh, good to see that you are well. It has been quite a while since we last met. Miraidon was once in my care, you see. Mirai is future, right? In Japanese, is that what the name means? Miraidon? Does his name like have to do with the future? Its Pokeball was originally mine. I assume you received it from a young man called Arvin. I am no longer in any position to be able to manage that Pokemon myself. Miraiya's feature? Cool. This is what I would ask of you. Will you continue looking after Miraidon on my behalf? Sure. I do appreciate your agreement. 
Miradon has been greatly weakened and is currently incapable of battle. It can, however, take on a form specialized for mobility. In all likelihood, it will require some time to fully regain the capabilities it once had. I will provide you with my contact information, if you would please get out your phone. Alright. So we still don't know who the guy is that hacked my phone. I hope you in regular contact going forward to keep tabs on your status. I wonder if it was just the principal or the director. Until then. Alright. Alright then. Could this Pokemon have its origins within Area Zero? Is this guy going to secretly be the bad guy or something? Turo, don't tell me you actually did it. Some foreshadowing. Some teasing. Well, it seems that the professor is asking quite the favor of you. But of course, the Academy is always here to support you in any way that we are able. I do hope you'll continue to enjoy your school life together with that Miraidon. Does Don mean bowl? Does that mean I don't know? Cause like Katsudon is like a a right like a a bowl of a bowl of uh katsu and rice and stuff. Niraidon is that like future bowl or something? Hello, excuse me. Oh, you're still here, Andrew. Oof, getting called into the director's office? How'd you land in that much trouble already? Not kidding, I know it wasn't like that. Try biting Miraidon then? Yeah, that'll <laughs> shatter your teeth, right? Mr. Jack wanted me to show you the way out to your room in the school dorms. Ooh, your very own private room, Andrew. Let's go check it out. All right, my dorm room, let's go. I'm playing too many video games, my hand's getting sore. Ta-ta-ta-chan. From today on, this is your room, Andrew. Actually, it's as new to me as it is to you. I've never been in here before. Maybe check out your new bed? Looks comfy. You must be pretty worn out from all this stuff happening on your very first day, huh? A quick rest on a bed is all you need to get yourself and your Pokemon healthy again. I'll see you tomorrow when you've rested up. Then we can battle even more. Take care. Yeah, let me crush her again. Okay. What are we going to do on the bed, uwu? Yeah, I know. I was going to say. I was kind of like holding myself back from making an innuendo there. Okay, let's rest up the Pokemon. I wonder if... Th does this game auto-heal your Pokemon after um, battles and stuff like that? The days quickly fly by after you start your new life at Uva Academy. And then at last, the day arrives for your true adventure to begin. So I can leave school now? I probably have to come back now and then. I don't really want to take any of the classes. I kind of want to just go out and start battling stuff. Ding dong, ding dong. All right. Attention all students. Today marks the beginning of an important new assignment. Please assemble in the schoolyard where I will explain in more detail. All right. I don't recall her knocking. What if my pants were off, Nimona? I've been waiting forever for this. Come on, let's go out to the schoolyard. She could have walked in on me. All right. Um, I assume I just, where do you want to go? Schoolyard. Of course. Nomoto gives no fucks yet. Held a message for re for a reason, bullying. Yeah, let me, let me not auto, God. Fucks was added. Come on, auto mod. Time that I explained your independent study assignment. As usual, the theme will be a treasure hunt. Okay. I ask each of you to set out and travel the world in search of your own treasure. Alright. You have all learned much within the walls of our fine academy. I haven't learned crap. I haven't gone to I haven't paid attention in class at all. But now it's time to turn your eyes upon the wider world and deepen your understanding. Explore Palia's abundant nature. Soak in its rich culture. Discover the Pokemon that live here. Nice. And get to know the people too. Where will you travel? Who will you meet? And what will you achieve? 
Of course, your Pokemon partners will be there to help you. You will journey together. Learn new things together. Very inspirational. Share each other's thoughts and feelings. And find something you might always treasure. I wonder if this guy's secretly a bad guy. I look forward to welcoming you all back after your independent study. When you return to us as fine young trainers. Let the treasure hunt begin. Onward! All right. Here we go. What do we got? <coughs> Excuse me. Man, I just can't drink and read at the same time. I always goes down the wrong tube. Tomo, yeah, it's time for the great outdoors. Your face in game looks like you're being forced to be there, but trying to grin and bear it? True. That's kind of true. Come on, Cycles, we're riding out. Oh, this guy has a rock rough. Take care, everyone, and remember, the great crater of Palia is exceedingly dangerous. Entering it, entering it is a violation of school rules, so I obviously we're going there at some point, right? That sounds like some major foreshadowing. What are you waiting for, Andrew? Let's go! Eat go! Alright. So where am I headed? Do, um, do I just have freedom to do whatever I want now? Or is it still forcing me on a linear path? Can I just go to a gym of my choice now? Okay, you know what? I need to unlock these gyms so that I can, uh... So I can set these as fly destinations, right? So I'll, I'll head here first. This game's pretty story-heavy. I wonder if it's just in the intro or if it's gonna be like this the whole way. Oh! Oh, those are Pokemon Center? Wait, where are the areas that you were telling me to fly to? Or go to for flying? I need to scroll up in the chat. Um... Where is it? Andrew, Andrew! The treasure hunt, it's finally starting! Uh, what do they mean by treasure? Yeah, fair question, since it's your first time. Come on, let's walk and talk. Alright. The treasure hunt is a huge part of the Uva Uva Academy school year. The point isn't to get us all looking for some actual hidden treasure, necessarily. We're more just making our own adventures to see what experiences Paldi has got to offer. You could try to beat Pokemon gyms, you could help out people in need, you could hunt for real capital T treasure if you wanted, even. There's stuff we'd never learn sitting in a classroom, you know? This is our chance to learn it. Cool. Plus, there's so many chances to battle, which is obviously perfect for me. You and me for sure gotta battle if we run into each other out there. I hope you're ready. Yes. I'm ready to crush you again. I've got the power of cheating. Oh yeah, battling can wait, I meant to tell you. Did you know your phone's map app lets you set your self-destinations? Yes, I've been doing that the whole time. Okay, cool. How's that for a student council president? Giving your own friends an insider advantage. Oh, here's Arvin. Uh, hey, Arvin? Insider advantage? She, she make it sound like we're cheating or something. All I did was suggest that he checks out the gyms. It's up to Andrew where, whether he goes. Andrew's gonna have his hands full searching out Titan Pokemon with me. He doesn't have time to waste on something like chasing after the champion rank. Me and him are gonna be too busy visiting the lairs of Titans and nabbing their Herba Mystica. And serio? Are you serious? Don't go filling his head with weird stories. Hey, all I did was invite him along. It's still up to Andrew whether he goes, right? So you don't have to 100% the game. You can just do whatever you want. That's kind of cool. Oh, it's the hacker. It's probably the hacker calling me saying, Hey, forget those two. Come with me. Hey, Andrew. Cassiopeia here. It's about Operation Starfall. Remember what I told you before? Team Star is made up of five individual squads, and each one's got their own base. 
I need you to go to each base, all five of them, and beat the squad boss there. Team Star's grunts might try to get in your way, but I'll I'll be helping you out from a distance. And heads up that the bosses each specialize in a different Pokemon type. Just remember the names of their crew and you'll figure it out. Still, no need to worry. With your skills, I'm sure you're more than up to the task. I'll just go ahead and add the bases locations to your phone for you. All right. So I assume that, um, wow. This game really does just give you whatever options you want. The team star bases have, have been added to your map app. Cool. So wait a minute, is that included on this this thing I found on the internet? Um, gym, team star. Oh yeah, it has everything. Cause it has the bug gym, then this is like a titan thing, another gym, and then it eventually gets a team star. But you can go in whatever order you want, which I think is kind of weird. I feel like they should have just made the game linear. I don't see the point of leaving it open, cause I'm just gonna look up a guide. I don't. I guess people like the illusion of freedom though. Good luck with those bosses. I'll hook you up with some nice rewards every time you beat one. Wait a second. Who are you supposed to be? And Team Star, those punks are a serious hazard. They're not Andrew's problem. That's right, because he's got more important things to do, like searching out awesome ingredients with me. I thought it was up to Andrew to decide whether he goes or not. Wasn't that what you said, Nimona and Arvin? They've been listening in. How do you know my... I'm looking forward to seeing what you can pull off, Andrew. Bye. I wonder if it's just the... I wonder if that's just the pres uh, the director, like the school president. We'll see. What was that all about? Andrew, I'm glad you're making plenty of friends here, but try not to get dragged into anything dangerous. Anyway, no more weird vibes. We've got a big adventure to start. I've got to battle every single Pokemon trainer I meet. If I keep... Tr if I just keep trying to become the strongest, I bet that experience will be the thing I treasure. Guess I'll start by heading to a gym and training up some new Pokemon. Here, I'll send you a pic of what gym buildings look like. Alright. Oh, nice. Pretty fancy. Oh, and I know we've been running our mouths, but it's your call what to do. And Yeah, you guys have been talking to me an awful lot. Go where you want and do what it is you really want to do most. This is a really long intro to the game. Treasure of our very own. For me, that's gotta be my... Er, my big dream is to track down the Herba Mystica, that is. Once we get those herbs, I'll make you the absolute best sandwich you've ever had in your life. Nice. Harg, what'd you come out for? Oh my gosh, did it just come out because he said sandwich? Well, you're not getting one. It's going back in the Pokeball, huh? It seems like it wants to start moving. Is it telling you to get going on, Andrew? All right, we're going. Press the plus. Oh, so he's my. Oh, whoa. What the heck? So he's the equivalent of having a bike. I didn't know that. I did like no research on this game before I started playing it. That's pretty cool. My wife was saying that it looked like a motorcycle, and I didn't realize you could actually ride it like a motorcycle. Oh, it transformed. Now it really looks like some weird cyclozar. As long as you got Miraidon, you can go pretty much anywhere. Haldi is your cloister. Not bad. Hmm. Yeah, maybe. Well, if you're going to search for those Titan Pokemon, I'd say set out from the far from the east gate. But since Andrew is actually headed to take on some gyms, I'd say go for the west gate. <laughs> Besides, it's way too easy to get it lost out east. Man, this is why I can't get along with you. I'm out of here. Catch up soon, little buddy. Uh. Looks like I'm going to follow her first, because we're going to the bug gym. I'll head to a gym. See you around, Andrew. See if I get crushed or not. So it's a bug gym, so I'm going to keep... Um, wait, is bug good against dragon? Hold on a second. Hold on a second. I got to look at the Pokemon type chart. Wait, what's good against dragon? Um, Ice... Dragon. Oh no, fair. Okay, bug is not. Bug's good against psychic. That's what I was mixing it up from. Okay. I freaking suck at Pokemon. Okay, cool. So I can decide. I, the tutorial's over. I think that's it. I think the real game starts now. Alright, so let's go to the bug gym. Let me see. Um, which one is the bug gym? 
if I zoom in more, does it, um, does it tell me? Oh, that's where I currently am. Um, Victory Road. Is this the... Oh, this is Jim Badge Psychic. Oh, Jim Badge um, Bug. Here we go. This is where we want to go. Okay, set his destination. So we got to head to the west. There we go. Okay, so I want to power up my... Since I'm going to be fighting a bug gym, obviously, it probably makes sense if I level up my Charmander and my Bagon. And then, uh... What else is good against bug? Let me think. Let me see. Is rock good against bug as well? Let's see, fire... Oh, flying as well. Oh, I have a lot of... Oh, that's good that they made bug the first, uh... First gym, because they have a lot of weaknesses. So then, for the bug gym, I have... Basically everybody. This guy has... He's got fire. This guy's flying. Rock, fire. I guess I would just not be able to use these guys. But uh, four out of six of my Pokemon are good to go. I'm just going to try to hit the gym now. Oh, wow. This is pretty cool. Okay. Let me... How do I... How do I... Uh... You know what? I guess I'll check out the shops real quick. Quality bags. So I can change my backpack. Let me see. Oh, that takes a while to load. I kind of want a white backpack. Let me see. Black. Oh, the black one looks pretty good, too. I'm probably gonna more likely go with white or black. What about gray? I'll save my money for now. Maybe I'll just come back. Yeah. Dang. Okay. So then I press plus to get on. Oh, can't ride in here. What about out here? There we go. All right, so we're headed out the gate. Can I boost? Oh, wow. Oh, so this game's gonna have some platforming, maybe? Is there a boost? Okay, no. Whoops. Maybe that's it. Well, it's still faster than running, so I guess it's not a big deal. I was kind of hoping I could hit a boost or something. All right, we're gonna head out to that very first gym. I'm gonna try to take on- if there's not much in my way, I'm just gonna try and take on the first gym right now. Oh, I'm getting a phone call. Hey, it's me, Nimona. We should call and catch up- catch each other up on how things are going from now on. You decided to start- set out heading west from the school, right? Starting from there, you'll be pretty co close to Cortondo. That's where you'll find the bug-type gym. You can go take on the gym leader if you want. I'm sure you can't beat her, Andrew. Good luck! Oh, I think I can! All right, let's go out the door. Let's see. I think I can take on the first gym. I don't even know what level it is, but I have four type advantages, so... I'm just gonna save the game before, so I don't... In case I die, I can just turn the game off. Okay. Is this a trainer battle here? What is this? Oh, I was accidentally talking to the Eevee. No, I'm trying to talk to the lady. Um... Let me see. My poor bag's full, full to bursting with ingredients. Here, let me share, share some with you. All right, cool. Sandwiches are best when you eat them outside. Try making them with stuff I gave you. Want to have a picnic? Uh, yes. Is that like a portable Pokemon Center, maybe? That's what it kind of seems like. Oh, okay, cool. Oh, God. I'm not, I don't want to battle right now. We're on straight. Actually, wait. Let's battle this guy. Erg, I'm so careless. <laughs> okay then. Let me see. Let's give this. Let's see what level the trainers are. I can't believe I forgot to buy ingredients. Maybe a rumble will calm my rumbling tummy. All right. It's just a fellow student. Okay, so it's all like bug types. He's probably trying to prepare me for the bug gym. Okay, let's see how much Ember hits, because I don't think my stats are really optimized to use Ember. It's kind of a weak fire move. Aw, oh, it doesn't do much damage. So I gotta level him up a little more. Okay. I'll get two hits. Not bad. Hopefully that gets me some experience. They got level so slowly, so... Uh, Drifloom? No, we'll keep him out. He's still the weakest. 
I don't know, when you guys play Pokemon, I don't know what your, your strategies are, but I tend to like to uh, put my weakest one out front. This guy bug and ghost or something? Oh god, what is he? Is he a ghost? That didn't do much. Um, yeah, I guess I'll just keep trying. I could probably take one more hit, and then after that I'm gonna have to switch out. Oh shit! Okay, uh, yeah, we're switching him out. Um, what freaking type is he? I mean, I guess I'll just, I don't know what type he is, so I'll just swap in Quaxly. Drifloom has to be some kind of ghost, right? I thought he'd be Bug. What's good against Ghost? Another Ghost move? Oh, I don't have a Ghost with me. Um, she's Water Gun. This should be enough to kill him from just a higher level. Oh, maybe not. Alright, catch you next time, Andrew. Top Zulu. Thanks so much for hanging out. Appreciate, appreciate chatting with you. Good meeting you. You only stream on Fridays? Uh, mostly on Fridays. Uh, I'm starting to stream on Tuesdays too as well. Yeah, hope you had fun hanging out. I'm gonna be cooking dinner soon. Usually I do cooking streams on Friday. Today's a little different though. For sure, same time? Yep, yep, 4 p.m. Pacific time, every time. Yo, cooking streams? Yeah, that's what actually what I'm doing later. Um, probably in the next like 30 minutes I'm gonna start. Um, I'm making a breakfast burrito. So next time, next time you can catch... Well, every other Friday I do a cooking stream. Yeah, so not next week, but the following, I'll be doing another cooking stream. Okay, you know what? I need to swap... These These guys are a little weak. Um. Oh my god, I need to cook dinner, so maybe I'll lurk. Okay, yeah, no worries, no worries. Yeah, within 30 minutes, I'll be cooking... And if not, no worries. There's always next time. Catch you later. Alright. What else do we got here? Okay, we got another trainer. Alright. Oh, that's a Ryan Higa emote. Nice. Want to know the way to one of the ten sites of Paldia? Um, sure. Trainers always say the weirdest thing before they battle you. A Whooper. Oh, is that a shiny or is... Maybe this game has a different version of Whooper? Okay, well obviously I'm gonna switch to Shinx because Whooper is a, a water type, right? Okay. Let's see. I mean, I assume this is still a water type. Um, does... You know, I'm gonna stare... I'm gonna terrestrialize and use Thundershock. Hit him with a lot of damage. Let me see. Does this guy looks like all crystallized. Huh! That looks pretty cool, I like it. Alright, let's see how Thundershock hits. Super weak electric attack. No! What type is Whooper? Oh my god, I'm so dumb. Is Whooper water and ground? Oh, it's water and ground. I'm so dumb. Of course, electricity doesn't affect him. So what I really need is a... Oh, but he's poison and ground in um, Paldia. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Um... Well, I just wasted... I just wasted this thing. Um... Who do I even use? Poison ground. Dang. If he has a ground move, I'm, I'm as good as dead. Ground be good against him. Uh... Oh, actually, I guess Quaxley, but he's kind of dying. Uh... I'll try to tank as many hits as I can and then switch to Mew. How dumb am I? Oh, you know what? As long as he doesn't have any ground moves, then I'll be okay. And there's a Pokemon Center just down the street here. Probably take one more hit. Okay, got him. Thank God. 
Oh my goodness. Dang, this office worker almost demolished me. <laughs> Dang. This is a sight I've never seen. He's making the weirdest, creepiest face. Oh god, guys, don't don't touch me, please. Okay, we're headed over to Oh, found a berry. I thought I saw something sparkly on the ground. I need the Pokemon Center. Urgently. Okay, here we go. Yeah, heal my Pokemon. Please, please. Alright. See if I can take on the gym leader. Charge up my Fjord. Lots of creepy faces in the game. Man. I'll be button to crouch. Yeah, I already know. Oops. I actually meant to read that other one. Wait, what was what was the second page? Um. Oh well. It's all good. Okay, let me see. Um. Okay, let's put Bagon back out front. My weakest link. Let me see. Yeah, this game's a little laggy. Kind of bummed out about that. Um, what the heck is that thing? Oh, I assume that's probably one of those Titan things. Well, I'm gonna go straight for the gym. Um, where do I go for that? Do I just follow the path? Yeah, it looks like if I follow the path, I get there. So I'm just gonna follow this road and hope it leads there. Ooh. All right. Yeah, these graphics are, uh, they're okay. They're very okay. I expected a little better. All right, we got a trainer battle. Here we go. We got man suffering with baldness. Check me out, I'm 60 and I'm still kicking. I'm even off to take on the gym. <laughs> I hope I can say that too when I'm 60. Oh god, he's still- Okay, so the school doesn't matter what age you are. You can enroll at whatever age. I don't know what type this guy is either. I'm trying not to look that stuff up because I don't want to- I don't know, I'd like to learn the hard way. Um, well, he's by it. I don't know what type he is. Oh, he flinched. Nice. All right, let's do another bite. Oh, and he flinches again. If I can keep making him flinch, that'll be great. Old dudes in the student outfits look kind of creepy. It kind of does. He looks like he should be on some kind of list. <laughs> All right, let's bite. I assume this guy must be a poison or something, right? Is that it? Dude, you should... <laughs> Just go retire. <laughs> Yay. Bagon got to level 10. Oh, he learned a dragon move, finally. Uh, is counter any good? Let's see. It's a fighting move? Inflicting, I mean, what does faint do? This attack can hit a target using moves such as protect or deflect. This, this, the user endures any attack at least 1 HP. Uh, I don't need to... I'd probably never use that, so... There we go! We get a dragon move! Manuel Manuel the student. Sorry, dude. Check me out, I'm 60 and I'm getting beat before I even get to the gym. Being an old man is his whole personality, that's so funny. Okay, let's keep it going. I'm so happy to finally have a dragon move. So dragon is good against dragon, and... I should look up what else. Get a revive. I may need those. Thank goodness, Pokemon Center. You know what? We'll try one more trainer before we heal up. All right. I assume it's another another businessman. Yep. I bought some delicious cake from Patis Patisserie. Soapberry. Let's celebrate with a battle. Yeah, the gym maybe not happening today. So I'm doing these fighting all these guys. Maybe that'll be on Tuesday. I got, I'm starting to get hungry, so it might be time for me to start the cooking stream soon. Okay, Fanfi, I assume, is a ground type, I want to say. So we're going to switch out to Quaxley here. Let's see. Go, Quaxley! All 
Alright, let's try Water Gun. Let's see what this does. Ah, he is ground. I thought so. Yeah, I did not expect to see old guys in a school uniform in this game. Super effective. Alright, is that it? Destroyed him. Yeah, this game isn't too hard. Char oh, Charmander can learn Dragon's Breath too? Sick. Okay, well, obviously I'm gonna get rid of Growl. It moves useless. Wow. Shinx wants to learn Bite? Yes. Definitely yes. Get rid of Leer. I never use that. I got a lot of overlaps with my moves here. Two guys with Bite, two guys with Dragon's Breath, two with like, Ember. Sweet. This cake makes me so happy. I don't even mind losing. Okay. The trainers say the weirdest things in these Pokemon games. Okay, I'm just gonna heal up, and then we're gonna switch to the kitchen. We're gonna start doing the cooking stream. All right, like to heal my Pokemon. So I guess Tuesday we'll do we'll take on the gym. All right, we're all healed up. By the way, did you know? If you select your profile from the map app, you'll find various records from your adventure. You can also check through. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know that. Okay. Let me... Let me just save the game here. Alright. So, I'm gonna switch to the kitchen view, and I'll be right down, guys. I'll... Let me see. Wait, let me make sure this plays on the correct device here. Be right back. Alright, guys, I will see you in a second. See you downstairs. Wait, I couldn't tell if I cut off. I'll see you downstairs. I'll be right there. Sorry, give me a second. Check, check. Sorry about that. I usually set up my microphone before I start stream, and then so then when I run downstairs, it's just already there, ready to go, but I totally forgot today. Sorry about that, everybody. But today, we are going to be cooking a breakfast burrito using one of my favorite Mexican meats, chorizo, pork chorizo, making a breakfast burrito for dinner, because who doesn't like having breakfast for dinner? All right, get the apron on. And hopefully my meat's thawed. I forgot to put it in the fridge last night. It was sitting in the freezer. 
Well, let me wake the screen up because I want to see a monitor from... Can I wake... My screen went to sleep here. Uh, oh, there we go. Okay, we're good. We're good. I made steak earlier. Nice, dude. Steak is always good. It's never a bad idea to have a steak. Okay, so I want to take chat with me. So I'm going to try... I'm trying out this new thing. Let me, let me refresh this page. Let's see if this works. All right, connecting to chat. All right, someone say something. <laughs> I want to take I want to take chat with me and just strap this thing onto me. I should have strapped this on me earlier. I totally forgot. Something. Thank you. It works. Hooray. Okay. There we go. Wait a minute. Wait for it. Uh, uh. If I can angle it properly. Ugh. You guys can kind of see it. There we go. Something. Thank you guys. <laughs> okay, it's kind of, I probably need to tighten it. I just don't want to cut circulation off my freaking arm here. There we go. We got chat with me right here. So I can walk around, cook, and I can still, you guys can just keep talking to me and it's all good. All right. So first thing we're going to do, get my camera here, check on my chorizo. Very fitting since we were just, oh God, where did I put it? Oh, here it is. Oh yeah, it thawed. It definitely thawed. Okay. It's not the most visually pleasing, but pretty much I keep little bits of chorizo. I buy a huge bunch of it at a Mexican grocery store and then I keep them in small bags and then store these in an even bigger bag in the freezer and I just take them out as I need them. I made the portions a little too small, so I'm making two burritos, one for me, one for my wife. But first things first is we're gonna start with, <laughs> Daddy, Daddy can give us upsies. <laughs> we're gonna start with uh, working on potatoes. So this, um, this burrito is gonna have eggs, potatoes, and meat. Plain and simple. I'm gonna get a little hot sauce. So let me see. First, we're gonna peel these potatoes. Oh, whoa. Let me resume this. Oh, it works, okay, cool. Can bring you guys with me here. You guys can see a nice, beautiful sink. Okay, let's see if it's safe to use this thing. Seems safe enough to me. All right, get the peeler. I'm just gonna peel this guy. Super easy, we're just gonna make some fried potatoes to go inside the burrito. Man, I haven't, you know, there's a lot of foods that I can never get tired of. Like steak is one of them, pizza, burgers, fries, fried chicken, and uh, chorizo breakfast burritos are up there among foods that I could pretty much eat every day and I'd probably never get tired of it. So I don't know why I never, I, I, I was struggling for a long time, you know, figuring out what the heck do I cook on stream on this day? And I'm like, well, why not do a breakfast burrito? It's one of my favorite foods. Don't get us wait, <laughs> don't get us wet. Wait, on second thought. <laughs> hey, you say, are you going to ALA? I'm actually going to a convention. I can't wait for ALA. I think it's one of the best ones. Let me see. So this, I don't even, oh yeah, it is in frame. I was like, I should probably double check that you guys can see what the heck I'm doing to this potato. It's looking all right though. Oh, uh, what? Wait, when did this become a cooking stream? Just now. Welcome back, the Evil Queen. We're making a breakfast burrito for dinner. Because why not? Breakfast for dinner is the best. So I got all the Pokemon out of my system, and now I can just do my usual cooking Fridays. All right. So we got that. Okay, cooking Papa. <laughs> I'd love it. All right, let us switch to here. And now we're gonna slice up this. So, all right guys, wait, let's do a poll. Oh God, I thought I was gonna hurt myself there. Let's do a poll. Try to think. Where's my, where's my Twitch browser here? Watch now online viewers. Blah, blah, blah. 
Um, mod view, okay. We have two options for how we do our potatoes. Type, okay. What do you want? <laughs> Whoops. Um, so I can either cut the fries into square shapes or I can cut them into french fry shapes. I mean, it's just a matter of taste. What do you guys want to see go into the burrito? French fries or like cubed up potatoes? Let me see, I'll give it like two minutes. You can feed me the potato. <laughs> okay, for now I'm gonna start getting out the meat and the, and the eggs. So I usually like to use two, like two eggs per person. Um, but I was too lazy to go to the store and I only have three eggs remaining. So my wife and I are gonna have to eat one and a half eggs each basically. So, sorry, it is what it is. I realize we don't have Mexican cheese. Um, so, man, what the heck do I, we have cheddar, and we have Swiss cheese, and we have provolone, and mild cheddar. I assume cheddar would probably be the one to go on it. I don't know. Okay, it's 50-50 down the middle. Fries and squares. You can feed me the potato. Is it just up to me? Do I not get, I don't get the easy way out. No one can make the decision for me. All right. Um, let me think. What do I, what do I want? What do I want to eat? When you guys are trying to figure out what to eat, do you ever envision yourself eating the food? Like if you're given options A and B, it's like, like a burger or a pizza, for example. Do you imagine, I do this when they're like, if someone asks me, do you want to eat burger or pizza? I will imagine myself actually <laughs> eating it. Okay, squares, squares. Poll updated. Let me switch to OBS. Is my stream laggy or is this just my computer? Okay, there we go. We're doing squares. So I'm gonna try a technique that I saw on Good Mythical Kitchen. Um, it's basically Good Mythical Morning's uh, cooking channel. And usually with potatoes or any kind of french fries or fried potatoes, if you wanna crisp them up, you gotta cook them twice. But what they did is they, they add the potatoes to a cold oil and slowly heat it up and then it eventually it cooks all the way through. So I'm gonna give that a shot and see how it goes. Poll updates, squares wins by one whole vote. Okay, so we don't want them to be too tiny. We wanna be able to taste the potatoes. We don't want them to taste like processed crispy things. We're gonna cut these up into little squares, square-ish. Square-like shapes, they're not perfect squares, but it'll do. Cut it in half, cut it in half again, and then cut it in half again, and there we go. So I'm gonna get out a bowl. Cool. Get all of the potatoes in here, and we are going to rinse all of the starch out of this. So that, let me just switch to my phone here. Oh yeah, look at that beautiful dirty sink. We're gonna get some water in here. And we just don't want these guys to oxidize. If you haven't cooked with potatoes before, which I'm assuming you guys have, pretty much as soon as you cut them, um, they start to oxidize. So it's good to put them in water. So that's what we're doing here. So we're cutting these guys up. Jeez, it's actually kind of hard to, well, challenging to cook with this thing on. I got the idea of doing this from the streamer Hot Chubby. So Hot Chubby is a, a Korean streamer. She streams in English though. She streams from South Korea. But she came to America one time and she said like, all right, the first X amount of viewers that sign up can come meet me and I'll make you tacos. And she actually cooked tacos for the viewers and my wife and I went and she had this thing on and I thought this was a pretty cool idea. I thought, you know what? Because if she's walking around so much, it actually makes a whole lot of sense. So you can kind of take chat with you. So I'm liking this. Okay, these potatoes are humongous, so I think we're just gonna share one. Or maybe I should get a second one, I'm feeling a little greedy. I really like a lot of potatoes in my burrito. Let me see, I'll see if I can find, dig up a small, like a second small potato maybe that I can use. I don't know, this is a lot. I'm trying to think. How much do I wanna pig out tonight? And then again, I don't want my whole burrito to just taste like 
fried potatoes. <laughs> so maybe I, let me see. Once we strain these, once I look at how much we have, I'll decide. Our tortillas are pretty big, so I mean, we need a lot of filling. Let me see. I'm gonna go see if I have a smaller potato I can use as a second one. But most of my recipe potatoes are humongous. Let me see. Be right back. You guys can still talk to me. I'm taking chat with me. And I can still talk to you because I got my mic with me. So let me see. Just off camera, awkwardly gonna go through a sack of potatoes here. Um. No, there's no way I can add a second potato. These things are freaking ridiculously huge. Actually, wait, no, this one is a decent size. That's what she said. All right. So we have, we're adding a second potato to the mix here. And um, let me see. We got, let me switch to this camera. Now we're gonna peel this guy. See if this all works out. We're gonna peel the skin off this guy. We're probably gonna have too many potatoes. I feel like if I don't do this, it's barely not enough potatoes, but adding this is just like a little too much, but I'd rather be overstuffed than, you know, go to sleep hungry. So it is what it is. Let's just get this guy skinned up. Hmm. Oh shoot. I need to change the category. It says I'm still playing Pokemon, doesn't it? Um, show stream info. Oh God. Okay, cooking, cooking chorizo breakfast burrito. Let's change this to just chatting. Just chatting and then remove Pokemon and blind playthrough and add cooking and cooking stream tags. I have no idea if those actually help or not. There we go. Oops, you can get in a lot of trouble for stuff like that. All right, there we go. Now it's cooking stream. Okay, let's just keep on peeling these potatoes here. Yeah, this guy's gonna be a little on the smaller side. It's good. This is exactly what I was looking for for a second potato. Cause I like a lot of potatoes in my burrito. Everyone's a little different. Some people like a lot of eggs. Some people want like mostly chorizo. I actually like, mo as weird as it sounds, I like mostly potatoes in my burritos. So we're gonna have a lot of fries, a lot of fried potatoes. Okay, so let me just get the skin. Oh God, this guy is going bad. A lot of potato I'm gonna have to cut off. Gross. Okay, get rid of all the ugly spots. That's probably good enough. Give this guy a rinse and we'll get the cutting. Man, that's a lot of potato skin. All right, let's get back to the cutting board here. Cut this guy in half. We'll pretty much just keep cutting each piece in half over and over until we eventually get to the sizes that we like. And half and half and half and then half again. There we go. Cut this guy in half as well. Oh, those are a little big, but it's okay. It's too late. They've got mixed up with all the other pieces now, so it's too late. Okay, I gotta make sure I cut these somewhat uniformly or else they'll uh or else they won't they won't cook evenly. Okay. If this is too much, if I, I think this is so much potatoes that I won't be able to try that method I was talking about earlier. I don't know. Let me see. Might just have to cook them the old fashioned way. Cut these guys up. And there we go. This is our very cloudy mix of potatoes. So now I'm just gonna be rinsing this out until the water runs clear, basically. It's gonna take several washes. Now it's going in. Oh, one of these potatoes has an ugly thing on it. Just gonna cut it off. Okay, and we're just gonna keep rinsing this guy out until, until there's no more starch in it and the water runs pretty clear. We could always save the leftovers. That's true, that's true. This is gonna be a lot of potato. I don't, you know what? It's gonna be a small amount of leftovers, but you know, it doesn't hurt. Homemade potatoes always taste the best. 
So we're going to try to fill this guy up one more time. Oh, you know what I need to do? While this is while this is going, I need to start filling up. I need to start heating up some oil. What am I doing with my life? Okay. Take this guy off. We are going to switch over to here. I got some oil I've been saving up in the fridge here. I don't know if I have enough. I'm probably going to have to add a little more to this. We'll start with this. Yeah, that's not enough oil. It's our starting point, though. Get some clean oil to add to it. Oh, got to run to the garage. I'll be right back. Got to get some more oil. Let's see. Let's get some more oil. I buy so much cooking oil. I seriously think um, I still haven't done a single cooking stream where I haven't deep fried something. It's kind of, it's kind of terrible. <laughs> I have a problem. Every, I always have to eat something deep fried. I have a terrible addiction. Okay, we're back. And let's add a little more oil to this. Okay, that should be good now. You know what? There might be enough space for all the potatoes. Hmm. You know what, we're gonna YOLO, I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna fit as much as I can in there. Okay, so we're gonna not start heating the oil up yet. I'm gonna go back to just kind of rinsing these potatoes out until the starch runs clean. Apparently, it gets the potatoes really thick if you do this, but I've never once tried it. So we'll see. So this is gonna be rinse number two. See if this water is mostly clear this time around. Drop by to drop by to say hello. Have a fun stream, Keith. Thanks so much for stopping by. Good to see you. Appreciate that. I will have a fun stream. All right, we got our potatoes. It's looking okay. It's looking good enough. I'm just gonna let it sit through this strainer a bit. Just let it dry out because I'm sure it's going to crack like crazy when it goes into the, when the oil starts heating up. Okay. I don't know. Maybe it'll be okay. By the way, you're going to play SAO Last Recollection when it comes out. I'm done with all gotcha games, including SAO, especially SAO games. I just don't... I'm assuming that's a mobile one. Is Last Recollection of... Um, um, the uh, another another gotcha game because I just I cannot be trusted with gotcha games. I don't have self control. All right, so we're gonna try something unorthodox and see if this actually works. The oil is off, but we're gonna put the oil's cold. We're gonna add potatoes to cold oil, and then we're gonna slowly heat it all up. I have no idea if this will actually work or not. Okay, this is cool. Oh, we actually had enough oil for all of the potatoes. Okay, I don't have a, I can't fit a thermometer in here doing it this way. So I can't really monitor the temperature too much, but all right. We'll just see how it goes. I'm just going to turn it on, let it do its thing and hopefully it hopefully it cooks properly. Oh, this one's not a gotcha game. It's on PS4, PS5, Steam, Xbox, etc. I don't know, you know, I haven't beat a single SAO game. I've tried a lot of them, but I've never once beat them and I enjoy them. But I'm so, I don't know, I'll think about it because they always look really good. I enjoy the graphics on them, but I never end up beating them. <laughs> they take so much time, but I'll, I'll consider it. Hollow Fragment was my favorite one, I think. Even though that one was like the oldest one, probably the worst game, but for some reason I enjoyed that one a lot. Okay, so while that is just slowly heating up, I am going to work on scrambling some eggs. Um, what bowl do I want to use? I'm gonna get a small glass bowl so you guys can see what's going on here. Okay, let me just get this out of the way. I'm not going to need this knife anymore, I don't think. Or actually, I guess I might. I might cut the burrito in half at the end. Show a nice cross-section or something. Okay, I'm just going to set this off to the side. I'm going to 
crack some eggs in. My favorites were Fatal Bullet and Alicization Licorice. You know what? I played Alicization... Actually, yeah, I played a little bit of both of those too. I like... Okay, how did you feel about um, Fatal Bullet where you didn't play as Kirito in the main story where you made your own character? Did you like that better? Or did you do you prefer to play as Kirito? Because I actually... In a lot of games, I like creating my own character. Like, um... God, what's that? There's a new game that came out that my friend wanted me to play with him, but I was upset that I couldn't create a custom character. But for SAO games, because I like Kirito so much, I actually prefer playing as him. I prefer seeing his story. Oh, whoops, is this A? Okay, there we go. Get this in frame. You're about 50-50? Oh, so you can go either way. You don't really care. It's just... So as long as the game's good, then you're happy. So, like I said, we should have... <laughs> Since I'm making burritos, big bur ouch, shit. I'm making burritos um, for two people. It'd be better to have four eggs, so I could have two each, but I only have three left, so this is what we're getting. This is what we're doing. This is what we're working with. Okay, and then now we're just gonna scramble this. You could use a, you can use a fork to scramble, but I like to use a whisk. And the story, I see, I see. Plus, wasn't there like a bonus mode in Fatal Bullet where you could um, do a, like a Kirito storyline? That's what I'd heard at least. I couldn't remember though. I might be mixing it up. So break the yolk and then just mix it well. Get it nice and homogenous. You could use a fork, like I said, but I like whisks better. Okay, you know like that nails on the chalkboard sound? For me, I'm really sensitive about forks scraping against something. So if I'm scrambling eggs even, and then I accidentally scrape the fork against the, like the plate or the bowl for a split second, it's like nails on the chalkboard for me. So this is kind of one of my ways of getting away from, you know, or like avoiding that from happening. Okay, almost there. This is already looking pretty good. So I'm just gonna put this in the fridge for now. So it doesn't go bad while we're cooking all the other stuff. Then I'm gonna make sure we have enough tortillas. I think we had two left. Are these expired? Probably. But tortillas last forever in the fridge, it feels like. Yeah, I have exactly two tortillas left. Very lucky. Okay, good. So now we just chill, I guess. We just gotta wait for this to heat up. I'm just gonna let this go on medium, I guess. I have no idea. Um, no idea what to do. We can have dessert after if it's not enough food. That's true, that's true. I have no idea what I want. I mean, I want ice cream again. I always, guys, I've had really huge desserts so, so many days in a row, this, like four times this week, I think. Today would be five, I think. But I can't help it. Oh God. I think it was part of the story, I forget. It's been a while since I played Fatal Bullet. Yeah, it's kind of been a while, so I can't remember exactly. So the potatoes are gonna be the most time-consuming part of the whole cooking stream, so we kind of just gotta wait. Um, we'll just chill for a while, I'll just stall for a bit while this, while this slowly cooks. Yeah, I have no idea what heat I'm supposed to put this at. Um, I mean, I guess I can, ch oh, I didn't bring headphones or else I would just check myself. Man, oh man. Yeah, I don't know. Poke, uh, Sword Art Online games are actually really fun, but for some reason I just never get around to beating them. There's just, you know, I miss the, I, in some ways I kind of miss the old days where when I grew up because I didn't have as much access to games that I'd only have like five games at a time that were new or at most, maybe three new games at most. So then I would just only be able to play those three games and that was it. But now there's so many new games coming out all the time. There's so many options that I pretty much almost never make time to beat one game because like something new will come out, something new and exciting will come out and then I, my attention shifts. So that's tough. But SAO games are really good. I'll give them that. I don't think I've played an SAO game that I didn't enjoy actually. Even, um, even Memory Defrag, the, the mobile game, I thought that was really fun. I mean, the gotcha part of Memory Defrag was probably the most fun, you know, trying to um, get your characters in the banners, but I actually the gameplay of Memory Defrag, it kind of hurt my hand, but it was actually kind of fun. And short on time, oh wait, yeah, and short on time too, exactly, exactly. It's just, you know, getting older sucks, where 
you work 40 hours a week and then you got to take care of yourself, <laughs> you know, after that. And then you got to, then they're like, you know, take care of your house, clean up and all that stuff, take care of adulting things. And then whatever's left with, you know, you can play some video games. But I also create a lot of content, so I mean, I think that's another reason why I'm afraid to kind of commit to a lot of games. Something like Pokemon is so casual, and I really miss playing video games, so I said, you know what, I just, I'll just play Pokemon. Actually, what really got me back into Pokemon was my brother-in-law and his girlfriend were, um, they, they got back into playing Pokemon trading card game, and they were playing it right in front of me. And I got to battle against my brother, we borrowed their, de their starter decks, and I won. <laughs> kind of made me miss playing Pokemon. My favorite um, SAO mobile game was Alicization Rising Steel, which later became Unleash Blading. Yeah, so I remember the Japanese name for that game was Blading, which I thought was better. Or was it Rising Steel? Yeah, Blading, I think, was the Japanese name. And then Rising Steel was what it got localized to. But I mean, by then, I was already kind of like, I'm, stay I'm done with Gotcha. Like, I, I cannot, I, God, I spent hundreds of dollars on Memory Defrag only for the, first of all, Memory Defrag, I spent a bunch of money on it. I got locked out of my account and couldn't get back in. Because I couldn't, I couldn't remember the, I lost my code or whatever, the transfer code, when I switched phones and then I wiped my old phone, so that it was, it was really dumb. And then, then the server shut down, so I was like, yeah, never again, never again, never a freaking again. I mean, this what really is unfortunate is gotcha games are pretty cool. I mean, I'm even interested in looking at Genshin Impact, you know, and is Honkai Star Rail also a gotcha game? Like, I'm interested in those. I like. The way they look, they look really fun, but I, I just can't be trusted with gacha games. I only play one gacha game nowadays, FGO, because I love the story. So with FGO, is there, um, that game's probably not going anywhere. I mean, it's so popular. I feel like, because memory, with SAO, they seem to have this weird thing of they come out with a gacha game for SAO, and then like a few years later, they just come out with another one, and I don't know why. Um, but for FGO, for, that one seems so popular. I feel like that one maybe has a little more longevity. I mean, I guess if you play gacha games, like the mobile ones, I just they're probably just better to play free-to-play. So they, I don't know. Because even though they're free, it's just so easy to dump a bunch of money into it. Yo, man, I just started renting a girlfriend today. Oh, you did it! How is it so far? Also, did you tell your wife about Goodnight Poon Poon? I did, I did. We talked about it. It's on our list. I'm definitely interested. I'm just a little behind on my current anime, but I mean, yeah, I showed her the artwork, and at first we were like, wait, is this a horror? This doesn't look like a horror, and then we saw some more pictures and said, oh, okay. Um, it looks like a ghost in this picture, so it probably is. Good to see you, Malachi. Have you seen Rurouni Kenshin? You know, I never saw the original one back in the day, surprisingly. I saw, like, you know, I watched Toonami. I assume it showed on Toonami, right? Because I watched Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z on Toonami, and I, for some reason I vaguely remember Rurouni Kenshin in my childhood, even though I didn't see it. But I'm watching the new one. The remake is actually really good. I have no idea how it compares to the original. I have no basis for comparison. Um, my wife and I looked up... There was a really cool fight scene in um, last week, or the, maybe the week before, um, in that episode. So we were curious about... Because I think she watched a bit. Um, so we were kind of curious at how different it was from the original. And the artwork, the art design is totally different. Um, you look at old um, Rurouni Kenshin, you could tell, like, you know, what era it's from, from the art style. Versus the new Rurouni Kenshin has a really modern style, which I really quite like a lot. The remake follows the manga more than the original. Really? I didn't realize that. So, I mean, did... Actually, you know, even that one fight, I did notice that it was quite a bit different. Um... I mean, there are a lot of little details, but I mean, the fight, it seemed like the older one was more focused on action than the actual story. So I was trying to figure out, you know, which one was closer to the manga. So I'm assuming that the remake one is probably, is this like Brotherhood, like Fumal Alchemist Brotherhood? It's not a horror, it's a coming of age story, psychological drama. Oh, really? The main character in his family are just drawn as birds. Oh, so it's not a horror. That's why when I was... I was telling her it was a horror. She was saying it didn't look like one. Okay, sorry. I, that was my mistake. Psychological drama. I feel like, you know, as, you, as I'm reading that, I feel like you, you told me that, like, on the day that Miz raided me, and I, sorry, I totally forgot about that. Oh, it's essentially Roni Kenshin Brotherhood. That's cool. Yeah, but Malachi, what's the verdict on, um, on Rented Girlfriend? How many episodes in are you? 
it's so funny. Okay, so, man, I need to just start commenting all the hate comments I get on... I don't get a lot, but once in a while I'll get hate comments on my anime reviews. And for Rent a Girlfriend, that one was a little, a little spicy. <laughs> that one was funny because um, obviously Rent a Girlfriend is kind of a hot topic. People, um, you know, people, a lot of people really, really don't like it. Oh, you're only three episodes in. So what do you, what do you think? What, what's, uh, oh wait, I, I'm actually liking Rent a Girlfriend so far, but I can see how the main character can be so damn annoying already. Yeah, exactly. So pretty much in my review of Rent a Girlfriend, I said that I don't like the main guy, Kazuya. He's obviously kind of dumb. He does get better with time, but overall, especially early on, he, he kind of sucks. But I thought that all the female characters were really interesting. They all have backstories that I find interesting. But <laughs> one of my more recent comments on, I probably on, on, I can't remember if it was TikTok or Instagram, um, where I said the female characters were the silver lining, you know, that was the good thing about Rent a Girlfriend. This guy said, well, the, well, the female characters like Kazuya, so they're terrible too. <laughs> so that was really funny. Oh, he gets better? Okay, don't, don't set, okay. I don't want to set your expectations wrong. He gets better, but not by much. I mean, he has growth. Um, but I'm, how many chapters into the manga am I in? Like, that's probably, I'm probably like, oh, I want, I need, let me check. I'm hoping to see the girl, I'm hoping to see the girls other than the girl he rented. Yeah, yeah, you'll see more girls. Um, obviously, Chizuru Mizuhara, she gets the most screen time, but other girls, you get to see their backstory a bit, um, and they're interesting. God, I feel like it's, I feel like it's been a hundred chapters, but maybe not quite 100, maybe like 60 chapters in and, you know, Kazuya still will lie when he's in a bind and he's like, when he gets in a tough situation and his friends are like, hey, what's going on? And he's like, option A, I come clean. Option B, I add another lie and it gets more complicated. And he always chooses, let's lie again. <laughs> so he, you know, he gets a little, I don't, you know, getting better, I don't know if that's really the right term. I think he may, mostly stays the same. It's more like he does a few cool things later on. Because, like, I feel like in the earlier episodes, all he does is just take L's. He just does nothing but really dumb stuff. But later on, there's some cool stuff he does mixed in with the dumb stuff. Have you seen the anime Trapped in a Dating Sim? No, I haven't. Is that a newer one or an older one? Did not know about that one. Okay, these potatoes are still taking a while. Yeah, apparently this is supposed to defeat the need for, uh, for double frying. I have it cooking on a medium heat. And that just apparently one fry, and you just let it add it while the oil's still cold. We'll see though. I'll hold out and see it through to the end. I salute you. That's really cool. I mean, I honestly, I'd really like it. So it's really funny is that there are people that like obviously people like Rent a Girlfriend. It's a popular anime. It's just that the people that I think it's kind of a I, I want to say Loud Minority doesn't like Rent-A-Girlfriend because it's kind of like the popular thing to do, right? Because Rent-A-Girlfriend is, you know, the main character is a bit annoying. It's just people love to hate stuff and people love the bandwagon. So it's, it's just kind of one of the cool things to hate on right now. So, I mean, I think it's pretty good. Trapped in the Dating Sim, it's fairly recent, like last year. Wait, wait. Trapped in the Dating Sim? I think I remember seeing the trailer for that. Is that the one with the female, char the female main character? where she's the one that uh, she doesn't like love or something, but she plays dating sims and then she goes into a, a dating sim with like all pretty boys and stuff. Am I thinking of the right one? Yeah, it's just a cool thing to hate on it, but it seems popular regardless. That's true. It's just like Sword Art Online. It's one of my favorite anime, but you know, a lot of anime YouTubers like Mother's Basement would just crap on SAO because it was popular and yeah, sure, SAO has flaws. But then you exaggerate the flaws because you want to get the views and all that. So then everyone else think it just it becomes cool to hate on it. But it was still popular regardless. Oh crap! A bug got in. Ugh. I wash my hands. Just crushed it. <laughs> Man, I'm actually a little bit behind on the anime I'm watching this season. Whew. Okay, I need to taste test one of these potatoes to see if this method is actually working or not. I see some of them are starting to get a little color now. Let me see, where's one? I'm just afraid the inside's still gonna taste raw. Okay, we'll try one of the, oh no, is there a darker piece? Is there a piece that's more cooked? Okay, maybe they all need more time. Okay, 
We'll try this guy right here. Let's see. Well, the main guy's sister makes him play her ultimate game because they're difficult. And then they get isekai on her ultimate. Oh, that's kind of cool. So it's female character, female main character. It's kind of funny that the brother is the one playing the ultimate. I pretty much am open to every genre. I know a lot of guys, like I know people, in fact, I had an Uber ride the other day with this guy that, um, cause I went to, I had to take my car into the shop and then I got an Uber to take me home while I was in the shop. And I saw he had Jujutsu Kaisen on his phone. So we talked about anime while he was taking me home. And he's like, I only watch Shonen. And I'm like, okay, that's cool. But I feel like you gotta be open to other genres or else it just kind of gets a little stale. Okay, let's see. Hmm. It actually is cooked all the way through. It's just not crispy. Oh, so the brother's actually the main character. So it's not a female main character. I might be thinking of a totally different show. You know, I need to probably put this on my other arm. This thing is not working out. Let me see. Try chat on this arm. Because I have my watch on my left arm. Let's see how this works out. Like, I want it to be tight and snug so it doesn't slide around, but I also don't want to, like, choke my arm out. I used to only watch Shonen at the beginning, too. Now I do a lot more Shonen than Shoujo. Yeah, so um, I pretty much, I think a lot of guys started on, probably started on, on a Shonen. Stuff like Dragon Ball Z, you know, when we're, when we're younger. It's more accessible, and it's a little easier, I don't know. I, th I think it's, that was just the easier, more natural thing to do. All right, so, um, this is, yeah, these potatoes are starting to look good. I'm going to crank the heat up. Well, I'll leave the heat the same. Now I'm just going to get the fire going. We're going to start cooking the eggs and chorizo. Okay, so we got the back burner on. So I got this pretty cool cast iron thing. Let me see. Right here. I actually got it from my barbecue grill. But it works pretty well on the stove top too, and I'm pretty much gonna cook the chorizo and eggs on that. So I'm gonna get that going. Cook that. I wanna cook everything on like a medium-ish heat because I don't wanna splatter everything all over the place. Yeah, I went in thinking the show would be enjoyable trash, <laughs> but it's actually better than I expected and got me invested. That I love that. I love when that happens. Cause sometimes you watch a show like, ah, it's gonna be a train wreck, but you know, I'll watch it anyway. But then it ended up actually just unironically being good. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I'll probably give that a shot. I'll, I'll add it to my um, plan to watch list on my anime list. There's a lot of anime out there. Yep, at the beginning I went through DBZ, Naruto, Bleach, One Piece, Hunter x Hunter, etc. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, that's all like the entry level, the gateway anime, right? The stuff is all super accessible. That's good. Nothing wrong with that. Okay, we're just going to leave these cooking. The potatoes aren't quite there yet. Okay, I'm gonna see how this thicker piece tastes, see if this is any good. Good old anime. I think my favorite anime this season is My Happy Marriage. That one was really good. And then Dark Gathering number two, probably. In terms of newer anime. In terms of sequels, it's either Rented Girlfriend or Mushoku Tensei. I'm really enjoying those this season. I'm still waiting for the next SAO Progressive movie. Same. It's gonna be so good. Hmm. I can't believe this method actually is working. Hmm. Very, very good. Hmm. I love fried potatoes. This burrito is gonna be so good. I've got. I think I cooked too much, too much potatoes, but it's all right. You always have leftovers. Okay. I'll eat a few more. Make sure everything's all good. Okay. Let me see. Can I pan? this camera so we could see. Maybe I'll put it on this side. So we're mostly going to be focusing on the eggs and chorizo, but I want to be able to show you guys the, the pot also. Oh. Hmm. There we go. That's good enough, I think. My favorite thing this season is Vanguard Vanguard Will plus Dress Season 3. That's cool. 
Yeah, I haven't seen any. Uh, that's the card, the card flight Vanguard, right? I remember. You, I know you're a big fan of that one. Okay, you know what? These fries are. These potatoes are starting to look really close to done. I have to take these out soon. Let me see. Hmm. That is unbelievably good. Hmm. Man. Once in a while I get lazy and I go through a phase of buying frozen french fries and stuff, but then right now I'm in a phase of always wanting to make my potatoes from scratch. And I feel like it's totally worth it. Okay. Here's how it's looking so far. Pretty golden brown. Actually got another streamer friend of mine into the game by getting her the game on Steam. Oh, that's cool. I can't get into card games either because back in the Yu-Gi-Oh days I spent and Pokemon card games, I just spent too much money. And I don't trust myself. And I that's why I pretty much just don't play them anymore. Okay. We'll see how these potatoes taste. They seem crispy enough. Might have to go in a second time, we'll see. For now, I think the single fry method actually worked. So yeah, if you guys want to do that, just before you turn the heat on, add your potatoes to cold oil, then turn the heat on to medium, and it slowly just cooks them all the way. It's crazy. Mmm. That was really good. All right, time for the fun part. The game's actually a good buy for people who don't want to spend money on physical cards. Really, why is that? What makes it different from like playing Pokemon or Yu-Gi-Oh? Mmm. That's good. Not as crispy as a French fry because they're a little thicker, but they're still good. Let me see, where's a piece? Here we go. Oh, let me get my face out of the screen. Come on, potato, focus. Focus, potato, please. <laughs> it won't do it. What about this way? No. Wait a minute. I'm not good at this. It's not gonna focus, it's all right. Hmm. <laughs> That was really good. All right, but now let's cook the chorizo. We're gonna cook some meat. So, get some meat out here. Oops. I don't want the heat too high because um, it's basically gonna splatter everywhere. Let's start by getting this on the grill. It's a little on the colder side right now, it sounds like. I don't think the grill's super hot. Oh, there we go. Now there's some sizzle. It's not the prettiest look right now, but once we cook it up, it'll look a lot better. It's easy to get, get into for old and new players alike, unlike Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah, Yu-Gi-Oh, I would never go back. The game is updating with new sets. Three, it's not a live service gotcha game. Once you get the DLC, you have them for life. Oh, that's pretty cool. That is a bit different. All right, let's add a little bit of oil. And then I'm gonna get the eggs that I scrambled earlier out. All right, we got our scrambled eggs out, ready to go. I'm just gonna put the cooked eggs back in here, or the cooked mixture back in here. Pretty much as soon as the, the chorizo is cooked, I'm gonna pour the eggs onto it. Okay, I probably need to turn up the heat just a little bit. It's a little too, a little too soft, a little too, hot fire is a little too weak here. Okay, turn it up to medium. It was like on a medium low. But this way it won't splatter all over me. Man, rent a girlfriend. I'm happy to see other people enjoy it too because I'm always afraid of getting crapped on when I talk about how much I like that one. <laughs> oh, that chorizo smells good. 
It's such a simple dish to make. So we're just gonna get these guys nice and softened up. Four, you have a fair chance to play the game. I'm like, yeah, Yu-Gi-Oh is kind of bullcrap. <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh is not fair at all. You can kind of just screw the rules if you have money, you know? You kind of just dominate if you have the better cards. I mean, there's obviously skill involved in Yu-Gi-Oh and stuff, but I mean, I feel like equally skilled people and one person has a way, you know, whoever spent more money kind of just has an advantage. Okay, so we're just gonna let this guy slowly cook up. Okay, heat's getting a little, a little stronger there, so I'm gonna turn it down a little bit. So this seems like a lot of chorizo, but it's for two people, so. All right, so we'll just let that cook up there. And I'm gonna eat another potato. Hmm. <laughs> Games in Yu-Gi-Oh are pretty much one person setting up a field to stop the other person from playing the game. That's kind of true. I honestly have not played Yu-Gi-Oh since um, like Yu-Gi-Oh GX was airing. Like that's how long ago it was since I've actually owned a deck. It's fun to watch people play card games, but I would never myself play it. All right. Yeah, we're just gonna let this slowly cook up. I wanna get this slightly browned a little bit. We don't wanna burn it but and dry them out, but I don't want it to taste freaking raw and cold. I love chorizo. All right, so then while that's cooking, I'm gonna get out some foil. Oh crap, I have to move the camera. Ugh. This is in the way, okay, foil. I fell out of Yu-Gi-Oh during the Zexal era, then, uh, then peaked back in the later eras. I know you liked the, obviously you liked the Yusei era. <laughs> I don't even know who Zexal is because I stopped watching. I don't even think I finished watching the OG series. I watched more of Yu-Gi-Oh! Bridge than the actual series, funny enough. Not that I dislike the series, I just... Yu-Gi-Oh! Bridge is just funny, so I just would watch it. I think I'd already moved on to watching other shows by then or something. Oh, that is smelling really good. Oh, this part of the grill's a lot hotter, huh? Oh god. Got a splatter on me. Ow! Ah! Okay, I'm gonna move it back further. <laughs> Let's cook it further back here where it's a little not as hot. I think this is looking pretty good. It's pretty much cooked, so I'm just gonna get the scrambled eggs in next. Yeah, it's all still in frame. Good. Who was, wait, was Zexal in the main, main storyline? I don't even remember, like, who that is. Or is that in one of the sequel ones? Kind of pour the eggs in slowly because this is a shallow skillet, and one time I made the mistake of pouring too much eggs in, and then it just spilled out. So doing it little by little so I can control the scrambled eggs. Oh, go. When my mom used to make this for me, she would not mix the eggs and chorizo together, which was weird to me. I actually like having it together. Whoa. I probably need the skillet to be slight a bit hotter. It's okay. There we go. So eggs are super easy to overcook because I feel like you want to take the stuff out right before you think the eggs are going to be done. 
because then it'll kind of continue to cook and then they dry out really easily. So we're gonna get this kind of almost all the way cooked and then take them out. There we go. Here we just got some simple scrambled eggs with chorizo mixed in. That easy. Oh, it's its own era. Oh, like 5Ds. Oh, I see. I didn't even know what came after 5Ds. Hmm. I knew about Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Monsters, GX, 5Ds, and that was it. I had no idea there's something after, actually. Okay, this is getting there. I pretty much want to brown one side of the eggs, just like the bottom part. I want the top part to be kind of runny and the bottom part to be nice and toasty. So I'm just going to let it sit like this and then I'll take them out. Zexel came after 5Ds. I have no idea what he even looks like. I'll have to look it up later. All right, burritos almost complete here. Maybe I'll try and cut it in half. Okay, this is probably good. I'll turn this down. Oh shit, I didn't mean to move it. Okay, get these eggs and chorizo out. Okay, now we're gonna heat up a tortilla. Let me get a pair of tongs out. And then... Get out a tortilla. Big, huge, oh God, I almost ripped it. Big, humongous flour tortilla. For burritos, you wanna use humongous ones. I feel like these are the best. I'm gonna get this on there. Basically when they're cold, they can, they're kind of prone to ripping. So you kind of wanna warm them, up a get, warm them up a bit so they become a little malleable. You're not trying to really toast these or anything like that. Just wanna get it a little bit warmed up. So let's see. I think that's probably okay. And then I'll flip it, get the other side warmed up a bit. Then we're just gonna go and assemble this thing. Yeah, that's probably good. Shift over to here. Oh, let's see if I can wrap this tortilla properly here. Ooh, this lighting is horrible with foil. Sorry. Okay. So we're going to get in half of the scrambled egg mixture. So I'll save the other half for my wife. There we go. Nice healthy amount of eggs and chorizo. Then we're gonna put a lot of potatoes on here because I like a lot of potatoes. Make it super filling, because we're missing that extra egg. So just add a lot of potatoes, make it more filling. Okay, got a lot of potatoes in there. And then, secret ingredient, which I forgot to get out, a little bit of hot sauce. So I like to use, so salsa works if you have it, but I don't have any, so I got Cholula. There's, this isn't the main Cholula, um, this one's a green pepper one, which I think tastes even better than the regular one. So I highly recommend this if you haven't had this one. And I'm pretty weak to spicy stuff, but I can handle a little bit of this. Though I recommend V-Rains, Vrains, if you want to see SAO style Yu-Gi-Oh series. Is that what the main one is? Vexel, or is that different? Are there multiple, like, more eras that I'm not aware of? So we're going to pour just a bit of hot sauce all over it and then, then we wrap it so let's see if I can do this we get the edges fold them inward fold it over kind of nope oh, some tails are escaping then tightly get underneath it and then tightly wrap it 
And then after that, we're gonna seal it. So I'm putting this back on the skillet. And hopefully that should seal it shut. Yes, it's its own era. Oh man, how many Yu-Gi-Oh series are there? That's crazy. All right. Our burrito is almost complete. Man, I'm getting hungry. I ate McDonald's for lunch, so I was thinking, maybe I won't be able to eat dinner, but of course, once like 6.30 rolls around, I'm starving. Oops. Oh, I had two more tortillas, three tortillas. No, 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 it's just folded in half. I thought I had an extra one. Nope, I only have one more, I can't mess up. <laughs> if I screw up the next one, my wife will starve. Okay. Okay, it's gotten browned. Slightly browned. You gotta get the other side a little bit. After V Rains, there's Yu-Gi-Oh! Oh Sevens, and the current one is Go Rush. Though I never watched any of the ones after V Rains. V Rains? V Rains? Am I saying that right? I can't believe they're making so many. But I mean, dual. Mo I mean, they gotta sell more cards, so it makes sense. Okay, let's toast the other side. It's kind of like Taco Bell style almost. Getting it seared up on, on the top and bottom. All right, we're looking pretty good. Almost done. Then we'll cut it in half, see if it looks good. And I'll take a bite. Okay, there we go. That is it. Let me get this onto the foil. Varains without the us sounds? Oh, V rain. Oh, okay. That makes sense. All right, let me get this on the cutting board here. So, all right, let's cut this guy in half. And let's see how the inside looks. Oh, God, it's hot. Oh, God. Is there a better way to do this? I'm gonna put this on a plate. <laughs> like, ouch. Like it hurts. Mm. Here's the inside, here's the cross section. Oh, nice, it focused. There we go, as you can see, it's a, cr it's a crap ton of potatoes. That's just the way I like it. I don't put any cheese on mine. For my wife, so I'll probably put some cheese on it. But that's pretty much it. That's my take on the breakfast burrito. Let's take a bite, huh? Before we call it here. A. All right. Here we go. Mmm. Mm hmm. Mmm. That is delicious. All right, guys, well, that's gonna be it for today. Um, I gotta figure out what cheese I'm gonna put on my wife's burrito. We're gonna call it there, but yeah, as always, just thank you so much for watching, everybody. I'll be going live again on Tuesday to play some Pokemon. Um, I might go live on Tuesday. If I can, I'll go live on Tuesday. Same time, four o'clock p.m. Pacific time. Um, if I can't, then I'll at least be back on Friday, so. I'll either see you guys on Tuesday or Friday. I mean, regardless, it'll be at 4 p.m. Pacific. Good streams. Thank you, Malachi. I appreciate you coming and hanging out. You say D. Wheeler, good to see you as always. Everyone lurking, appreciate you. Thank you so much. I had a lot of fun. Nice chill chill day today. Gonna watch more Rent a Girlfriend? Yeah, next stream, let me know more. I'm curious if your opinion changes on it or what you like. Yeah. All right, guys. I will talk to you later. See ya. Bye-bye.